Welcome back. We are doing all signs. Aries, the Pisces, keep in mind if it is not your story, acknowledge and move on. Check your other placements. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We all have other placements. Okay, so the four decks for newbies that have not been here before. There's four up because you will get four readings in one. You'll have fire, air, water, earth, just like you have other placements. Your friends, your ex-lover, your ex-lover's dogs, neighbors, pet, gerbil, all have different placements. Your sign will be up here. If I say, what is somebody's blockage? I will take that card and flip it. So that gives it a different meaning. Like per se, the Wheel of Fortune reversed would be not the outcome you were looking for, or it's time to face the music, or a false start, or falling into old toxic patterns. Just as an example, all right? The timestamps will be down below. If there's any questions, you always are welcome to put them in comments. Okay. If you want to click off from here, otherwise I have a dad's story to share with some of you. Okay, so dad's story. First of all, he is uh, damn lucky that I'm a nurse because this morning we had a digger on the floor, which caused him a concussion. And because they didn't do anything for his concussion the last time I took them, even though there was a seizure with it, no seizure this time. So my son... I literally lifted a 240-pound man, my 23-year-old Isaac, and I can't thank him enough. And also, I can't thank you guys enough for all of the compassion and messages that you have about my father. <laughs> it is much, much appreciated. But um, uh, a minor concussion, I can tell by the, the pinpoint uh, pupils, and they are not clearing up, but I'm watching him while he's napping, etc. Make sure he's still breathing, so I'm poking the bear now and then. Okay, so this is our fun for Dad. This is his, obviously, you guys probably all seen this. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Nope, nope, that is not right because my dad's got the, he's good with the S&M. He's down with that, but he's not sure what they're trying to spell out. He would like to buy a vowel for right here. A vowel, yes, because they should be trying to spell something out. And I'm like, yes, what for vowel do you, well, an A, of course. I j you cannot make this stuff up. You cannot make this stuff up. Um, S&M's all good. I'm like, oh my God, how can I not laugh? How, how can you, sometimes you got to get a giggle or it's just not going to be a good day. But um, there's something else he did too. And I can't think of it off the tip of my head. Oh, his watch was his telephone. I mean, it's been, and it's hard to like be, is this concussion or is this just because he uh, rearranged the time on the microwave and thought that that was going to be a set time? No, that's the set of the clock. Things of this nature. Oh, he burned himself. Yes, yes. Tried to start himself on fire with a cigarette. So now he's only allowed to smoke at the table. I mean, it's almost like having a 10-year-old around that you would allow smoking. Except you can't put uh, lava in their mouth when they're sassy. All right. So we're going to timestamp here. And if there's any questions, please feel free to ask in comments. Otherwise, we will see you at your sign. Aries, if you are dealing with another Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius source, we are free balling in today. So we're just kind of going for it. We're going to see what pops out. All right. Two more. Okay. All right. Okay, so this person here is getting kind of agitated. They're overthinking things. They're feeling like you're overthinking things. This is somebody that is constantly wondering, is this what's supposed to be best for them, best for you, or are they in denial? It also can be that they're avoiding an ending or dwelling on the old connection that had been between the two of you, but they got a big stick up their ass. This is somebody that's like, I want to talk, I want to talk yesterday. By the way, if I pull the cards up to my face, it's because I broke my glasses. Oops, okay. But you got the Knight of Swords reversed here. This is somebody that can be presumptuous, thinking that you need to have a discussion about how things aren't quite done, but their mind is due in overtime. They can't stop thinking about it. They're overthinking everything. It's a blockage. All right, so this is somebody that, as far as a blockage, things have to go fast. They have to keep moving, and they're constantly guarding themselves. It's almost like that person that would drop you because they are afraid to get hurt first. All right, it's like, I, I'm not sure what the hell to do, but I got to be kind of like spreading it all over the place. This is somebody that does have feelings for you, though, and they might also think that you have 
the need to get more respect. Like the two of you, there's a an argument or a disposition as far as who's, you know, who's on. It's, there needs to be an equality between these two people because this would say this person is acting a little bit immature and not giving you what's needed. They also could be thinking that you've kind of let yourself go. And your energy towards this person is like, ah, enough. You might feel very frustrated, not sure what the hell to do. It's like you're kind of containing yourself and not sure what to say. But I don't want to move and I don't want to make any decisions right now. I do feel like this person is going to reach out, but it's going to be kind of no tact. No tact at all. No tact. All right. Gemini Libra Aquarius. Okay. One more. All right, so we have the Five of Swords, and we have Temperance over here with the Seven of Cups reverse. Seven of Cups reverse. Got to start there. So you've got this person that feels like everything's been all up in the air and everything came just, boom, plunged down. They might refuse to be an option or thinking that you kind of said that's enough of this. Finally, uh, see them for who they truly are, and they feel like, shit, now what do I do? Because this Five here can be some controversy this can be somebody that's very cunning and is like like a full of shit and walks away and is like fuck it this is just a loss then but they know that basically you have been asking for some compromise and they're kind of going Com compromise on what it's like it's too much work for that one more for the seven of cups reverse because that's like the mind's made up. Yeah, no, this person doesn't think things are going the right direction and they aren't putting any work into it. No, forget it. We're, we're just done. I don't have, want to have to be responsible for your your emotions and any... No, no, the confusion's all over. They're arguing about... And they have no idea. It's like, fuck this. I'm going away from you. I don't want to talk to you. I feel like you're trying to trap me in a connection and therefore with the two of rods reversed... This would be, I'm hesitating, I'm going to kind of isolate from you until I can make up my mind. And it also can be that they're screwing around with somebody else. Clarify blockage. All right, Queen of Cups. Okay, well, if that's not you, that's somebody else. So did they make a decision between you and another person? And oop, now they're not so sure about the path that they've chosen or that they don't feel like they're able to move because of somebody else that they have feelings for. And if that's feelings for you... That's basically like I'm not showing you, I'm not telling you, I'm not nothing you. Look at that. They they do not feel like the two of you are right for each other in some way, shape, or form because the King of Pentacles when reversed is a stubborn asshole who will not change. But they're it's like is this somebody that's picking you or another person? They don't like the path that they're on and they know that you want compromise. It's like this has come up again and again and again. And they get this like, I keep telling you the same thing. My mind's made up. My attitude sucks ass. But uh -uh. this is like, screw this. I don't want to have to make any decisions. I don't want to have to do nothing. But they know that you want there to be a compromise of some sort. Something neutral finally. Your energy at the bottom of the deck, you could be hoping and wishing for promises that are actually going to be made or trying to be optimistic that you would be comfortable with this person if they would just kind of get with the program. Like, we could heal this if you would put more work into it. All righty. They're lazy. Lazy. Source, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ace of Coins, Reverse. Eight of Coins, Upright, and the Lovers, Reversed. All right, there's a problem with an argument that the two of you had. They're basically, in their mind, they think that they've been putting work into it, but it looks like there's been a uh, kind of a struggle between the two of you on what actually is work. So <laughs> this would be like, I think this is putting work into it, and you're not doing this, and you're not making yourself available, and it feels like you're fickle, and you don't see it. You need to put more work into it. So there's an argument about where things are going. There could have been a separation because of an argument. The lover's reverse is really bad communication. And it's hard to deal with. Now, this also can be that this person's taken on way too much. So what is what is a blockage? You could also think that you are generally speaking way too much. The blockage is... Oh, they're a fucking asshole. One more. All right. So we have... 
they're kind of this person that always puts you in this is this is only going so far they get easily bored and then they end up giving you shitty news as far as any kind of emotion it ain't there it's like my decisions are based on logic not my heart and with the the hangman reversed here this would say that this person's not offering what's wanted or they're looking for relief or they're kind of avoiding shit and they might be feeling like you are wasting their time or that that you are jealous of shit between them and that can be that there was another person involved here so like leo come oh i would say you're gonna let this person have it bottom of the deck you get the four of pentacles so it's like uh you know what I, I don't really trust you. I, I need to kind of hold back. I'm saving my thoughts for the time that I actually get to rip into your ass and let you have it. Because it's like, you've been lying to me, and I damn well know it. It's like, I am I might just rip your head off and, no, uh, no, you're not. You feel like they've been kind of petty. And this would tell me that it's like, I'm, keep, I'm holding my thoughts. I'm s saving my thoughts. I'm controlling my emotions so that I can let you have it. And this would be disappointed. It's like, you have scammed me enough. You've broken my heart. I feel like you're going to let this person have it. And it's all based on what, what decision that they have made as far as what's putting work into it. Because according to them, they also can be preoccupied with the even get this, get this off the ground. So likely outcome because I'm nosy. All right, it's going to be living in the in the past and the fear of any kind of commitment. I, I, you, they could have childhood issues and they're using that crutch. I'm just saying, I feel like this is more of a crutch. Everything's so difficult to me. I don't know how to, you know, make love work. I make bad decisions and it's such a hard, wah, 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 your feelings. The world reverse. You still need to get it off your chest. Okay, with, especially with that Queen of Swords reverse there. It's like, I'm, I'm just waiting until I get the right moment and I get enough built up in, uh, information to let you have it. And boy, when you let them have it, you could be absolutely wrong, but you would be basically throwing judgment at them because you're sick of the way that they've been not putting any work into it. It doesn't look like they act like they're available. Or that they don't see that they're part of the problem and that whole fickle bullshit. But are they shamming you, scamming you? So I would say you're not done with this person. But did things even got off the? Did they even get off the ground? This seems like one person put a lot of work into it, and one person acts like they have all the weight of the world on their shoulders. Uh -uh. And needs to learn how to communicate better. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, I'm trying to be optimistic. They're being a little quiet or mysterious, but they aren't sure what's going to make them happy right now. So why are they, wah, wah, poor me. They do have feelings for you. This is kind of like, what do I do? This person might be kind of holding back emotionally, um, controlling their emotions because they're not sure if being with you or being with somebody else is what they want. This seems to me now, if you are single, this would be somebody that there could be secrets or they're kind of hiding because they're a little on the shy side. This would say, I'm op optimistic. I'm trying to have hope in a future, still reeling the minds going, but more in an optimistic, positive way. But here, this is almost like I, I want to be satisfied and I don't know what the hell makes me happy. Why the high priestess? All right. See, again, with the I'm depressed, I don't know what's going to make me happy. And there, there could be the feeling of, I, I don't know if Aries is interested. And come on, and Aries does not, Aries are very good at letting people know what their thoughts are, even by just a look, okay? And it can be that you're kind of, this person, you're pushing a little bit to try to, you know, try to figure this person out. Because if they're holding back and keeping this, this, uh, I'm not so sure. This person might have issues with depression, but they, they also can be somebody that thinks that you need too much attention. All right, the blockage is that you're not getting, okay. This person, you might not be given any attention at all, like uh, delayed or there's a reason that things can't move forward with this, but it can be that this person feels like you're never available or that they get triggered by you 
or that you consider this person a home wrecker, always looking for attention. And it's like, this can be the, I only have so much attention to give you. This uh, Knight of Cups would be this great energy of, I'm really interested to see where this can go, but I don't feel like you're giving me, giving me enough to go on if you're interested or not. Because this is like new love and fantasizing about a new connection and trying to find a way to their heart and eager to move forward but it seems like they kind of put the brakes on things where you don't really know what what to feel about this person they could be on the conceited side arrogant full of themselves kind of like that or there could be a you, there's no confidence i don't feel like i'm worth anything where this is kind of a dead end and not going anywhere your feelings okay that would tell me that you don't feel like this person is giving it all not at all it's like you know a conditional wishes granted you gotta give to get and you're kind of going seriously not okay and not dealing with it this would tell me that you don't feel like things are fair that you've spent time with this person or spent money with this person even if it was like I pay this dinner you pay that you might feel like financially you put out more than they did but I feel like it's kind of the end of a relationship it finally just it was suffering and it was time to let it go like bankrupt emotions I don't feel the same way about you as I once had you're selfish you're greedy whatever the case is and there, there's love here on this person's end, but they just don't know what the hell is going to make them happy. I'm trying to be... No, they're not... If they say they're trying to be optimistic, they're full of shit because they're playing shy and I don't know what I want. And no, they've got mental issues that they try to hide. All right, singles only. Who? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Thoughts on you? Ooh. All right. They would definitely like to get to know you. They feel like this is a new beginning. They're kind of going, I can see in the future that this could be something that would be comfortable to me. They would like to see things move forward. All right. And your thoughts, a new opportunity that could go very well. It can be somebody that is through the work area. But it's early stages. It's like, okay, if, if you work this way and I work this way, then things do look like they could build up. So you're, you're kind of eager about this new, oh yeah, you're eager. And this person would be quite charming and intelligent and kind of like an Aries, outgoing, fun. But here we got outgoing, fun, and jumping in. You both have three. So that's expansion in itself. This is very nice. A new opportunity. Oh, let's get a timing card and see what we get here for you guys. When for singles. Okay, you got happening now. Oh my. And then on the bottom of the deck, in progress now. So whatever is with you, you might already have met this person and now you're just kind of waiting or they're waiting to move things forward. But that looks... Kind of nice for singles. The rest of this is a little bit of a mess. Nobody likes to feel like they're in limbo. All right. So we got Libra, Taurus, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aries, Pisces, Cancer. Gemini, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Pisces. Hey, hey. All right, and all signs are in there, but uh, singles, you look pretty good. Anybody that's in this borderline hanging on type category, don't take any crap from anybody. Don't let them leave you hanging. All right, Aries, that's what we have for you. Now we go. Tauruses, all right. Uh, just a quick, I broke my glasses. So if I pull the clothes up, pull the card close up to me it's because I can't see what the hell it is okay so just keep the mind I should have said that at the beginning but we're jumping in Aries Leo Sagittarius one more okay all right you got three reversals why do we have the page of pentacles reversed all right this person's uh 
possibly manifesting somebody else. It does feel like because it's like there's a lack of commitment or greedy or laziness or they might be thinking that you aren't interested and they therefore want to make a move. And is it going to be with you? Uh, as far as feeling, they're avoiding an ending. They want there to be peace between the two of you because they know that neither one of you are happy with the way things are. This is somebody that's just like all over the map. They don't know how to go about things at all. Why the Nine of Pentacles reversed? And they're acting kind of like an asshole. I mean, this is basically like, I refuse to budge. Wow. I am not doing nothing. One more over here. Yeah, I feel like they're a little bit nervous to do anything. This is kind of like, I'm trying to figure things out. Are you even interested? Is this person being irresponsible? And, I mean, this is having the power to do whatever the hell they want. And are they manifesting, uh, trying to hide something? This feels like somebody that's kind of sketchy to me. I don't know if you're interested. I've been irresponsible. I should be doing better. Back and forth bullshit. It's a blockage. Ace of Cups, and okay, so we take the Ace of Cups, and we take the Seven, came out this way, so we reverse it. Who's lost the loving feeling and lying about it? This seems like somebody that's kind of conning you so that they can get their way with the Magician energy here, but they don't, they don't know what the hell they want. I don't know if they feel like the two of you are constantly arguing and there's so much setbacks and that they feel like they just need to avoid any conversation right now but they just don't know what the hell to do this is somebody that might act like they're all depressed and they're sad and they're real negative but this can be somebody that feels like you you got the page and the knight of pentacles reversed that's somebody that's like you don't want to deal with me I'm not going to give you any of my time then. Screw this. And I hesitate. And it's too uncertain what to expect from you. And I'm just going to be lazy and not put any work into things. And this would be like sneaking up because there's not the same feelings or that there's a emotional loss. So they're just kind of chalking it up to the one that got away. I would say they're not doing anything. How do you see this person? All right. They don't make you happy either. Then why do we need to know? Because they're still thinking about coming back. What kind of mess do you have coming back your direction? That's somebody that doesn't know what the hell they want. They need some coach time with uh, Jerry Springer or something. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. All right. If you aren't talking to this person, I would hate to say that they've gotten themselves in a pickle because they know that things are supposedly done between the two of you because they were paying attention to possibly somebody else. This is somebody that's like, uh, you weren't acting confident. So I, uh, you know, the, all, everything that you offered me, uh, uh, this also can be somebody that kind of has baggage because of their parent mother specifically and things end because they're an attention hole one more. Yeah, I mean, there can be an age difference as well, but, ooh, the star's popping out in there. Broken promises, reversed. Don't like that. Uh-uh. They leave a wake of dead bodies. I pay attention to this person. I pay attention to that person. You're just a fucking project temporarily. I make no promises or I break promises. There is no faith between the two of us. This person, I don't know if they blame their... Let me mark for the Empress. Yeah, it's almost like I'm not I'm not putting any work into this at all. I, I don't see that this is going anywhere. You act like you're jealous all the time. And then I feel like you're like my fucking mother that's nagging all the time. This person gets insecure. They don't want to be vulnerable. They don't know how to be vulnerable. And they get defensive over bullshit. Like the outcome. They're not going to do anything. This is somebody. No. Mm -mm. Let's see what's at the bot bottom. Okay, judgment reversed. This person doubts themselves. They do not know what the hell they want. They lack awareness, but this is like emotionally ADD. I give up so easily. I don't want to be vulnerable at all. So they're just one more for the 10 of swords. They're calling it. It's like, this is over then. Screw this shit. 
and the reason can have been another person but they call also it seems like there's like red flags that you could be missing about this person so don't be thinking about them or you'll pull them right back in but i feel like this person could have baby mama drama and they won't argue and they won't stick up for a connection with you that i don't like it that it's just somebody that is not with it at all Mm -mm. emotionally this person is never going to put any work into it this is somebody that avoids being hurt they avoid being rejected they give up easily they walk away from you and emotionally not available i'm going to put that back in the deck though and I feel like it's because of somebody that's kind of got their thumb on this person. Like, you belong to me, like a baby mama. Or that this person had uh, issues with their parent that wasn't there for them or whatever the case is. They're, they're putting blame on, of course, somebody else. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The lover's reversed. A ten of wands. And the moon. Okay. Well, there's nothing like saying that this is more stress than it's actually worth and i get the why the 10. yeah too much this is more work than it should be and they basically it's an illusion to think that the two of you would stay in the connection in their mind they're afraid of commitment why this came out kind of sideways there's like an interest here, but not. This person could get jealous easily. They could possibly feel like you're blocking their emotions or that they act res irresponsibly. Are you ignoring this person? How do you feel about them? Mm. All right. So you feel like they've made a fucking mess of shit and that they are getting karma, that you, that's really okay with you. Because if this person constantly hides how they feel and subconsciously they're basically giving up on this and they, it's more trouble than it's worth, just forget it. But they could be very fickle. And you're kind of going, you made a mess out of this shit. Um, you didn't want to try to put work into it together, so it's not on me. It's like you're, you, you can be very... Mm, like this person lacks effort and I put the work into it, but you did not. But this is like, I want the truth. I'm going to have justice. Things are going my way and you can go the highway. Likely outcome. Ugh. Don't put yourself in a position where you're giving in to this person or you're just sitting there hanging. Because this would say that you're trying to guard your heart. Not sure that you have uh, emotions or that you possibly would lie about having emotions for this person, but feeling slighted nonetheless. Possibly you're resentful because you're used to being hurt, but there's a feeling of coldness here and you're trying to have your stability. Now, this also can be that you want the freedom and not the fucking marriage either because this is the widow of the deck. It's going to cut. They owe you an apology. They need to get their shit together. They need to polish up their fucking pony and come your direction. But this person's just like, I'm too anxious about putting any work into this. It's like, my dreams have been shattered. No, no, they did the shattering of dreams. And why do they have to make such a mountain out of a molehill? Oh, I'm going uphill both ways. It's two miles straight uphill both ways. And I work so hard. They put too, they put too much on... Uh, it's a waste of time to put the work into it. And when we have the lovers reverse, this person could have made a bad choice or detached for, from you for another person. So however it resonates, but that's not somebody that's giving you what you need. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Queen of Cups. Well, we like that. We like that too. All right, one more. Okay, this does feel like somebody that might be at a physical distance. So their mind right now is they're kind of, kind of trying to be calm. This is somebody that is trying to emotionally think about what you and them have between the two of you. It's like I'm drawn towards you. I would like to, you know, fall in love with you, but only if it's reciprocated. So I'm using my intuition, but this is movement and speed and a lot of talking and a possible physical distance can be an online dating hey I met you how things go willing to progress forward very like there's no blockage here at all how do you see this person oh 
Okay, let me don't mind that one. All right, so this would say you see them as free, that they're available, but they might have a little bit of hang-ups. And then with the two of, of pentacles, it's like, are you, is this something where you're going to prioritize things and put work into this? Or are you going to be flexible and adaptable with your time? So you're, you're kind of going back and forth about it. Okay, but it's like in a nice way. This is freedom, okay, so they're single. This is kind of like weighing the pros and cons about this person. And this would go, okay, I would like to see where this could possibly go. I'm willing to give this a chance. If you if you put the work into it that I do, feeling as a small sense of security. It's very, it's very nice. I value this person. Um, this can be something that you have more than one option as well. But this person is just like gung-ho, go forward. Mm, feels like singles to me. All right, and the outcome is dum, dum, dum. hanging out, partying, having a few drinky treats, and seeing where things can go. Because this would be come here, come here. Somebody that's very curious. Where can things go between the two of us? I can see being happy with you. It'd be fun. I'd be all giddy about it and excited. This looks very nice. Keep in mind with this uh, chariot, it's movement. Wanting to move forward, putting the blinders on and going directly towards you. It's willpower. But they definitely have the you know a nice idea of where things can go. And you're seeing them as footless and fancy free and able to start dating. That looks nice. All right, singles only. Leo. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right. This person's trying to get up the courage to ask you out. They they do f have a feeling that you might not be terribly open or that you're a little bit closed off or trying to control your emotions uh, and because you aren't necessarily ready. Let's see how you see this person. Okay. Yeah, you're being a little bit stern about it. It's like, you can ask me out. Um, I'm just becoming just becoming ready to choose happiness again so you, you're gonna kind of be a mega bitch about it it's like okay if you're coming at me right then we have a deal here but keep in mind that i just am coming out of some bullshit and i'm accepting a loss that i had and this person's going yeah i i, I get it i see that you're kind of holding back but i still would like to see where this can go so it does feel like you are holding back a little bit one more for sign we forgot to do that all right cancer scorpio pisces and that's the two of cups so it does seem like you're trying to be more optimistic and i mean that's a couple right there but we did use that for water signs and leo but it looks nice i get it all right let's go through the majors Ooh, and a timing card for singles let's see what we got Within the next six months, jellyfish. Jellyfish are kind of dangerous. Oh, and then up to you. So if you're if you're still yearning after somebody else and you're looking for a, a new potential person, you're going to be basically putting yourself off if you dwell on the past. Cancer. Did I miss one? Did I miss one? Gemini. Pisces. Cancer. Libra. Pisces, Libra, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces again, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, strong Leo, very strong Leo. All right, my Tauruses, that's what we have for you. Now we go Geminis. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. All right, one more. Okay. Ah, decisions, decisions, decisions. Mm. So this person's thinking about abundance. They're thinking about the mother of their children or being the mother. And they're kind of like choosing the lesser of the two evils. This is somebody that right now they might think that you're being jealous. There could be a baby mama issue going on here as well. What is the blockage? Boom, ba-da-boom, ba-da-boom. 
All right, somebody made a fucking mess out of shit and it's dwelling in the past. It's like you're restless, you overcommitted, you don't give me enough time, you need to balance your time between me and somebody else. Now, this can be somebody that has uh, uh, an expected pregnant, an unexpected pregnancy, but there's still a pregnancy going on and they have got this, uh, well, I have to try to make things work between you and this other person. There also already could be a child between you and this person and they're, they're, dealing with jealousy and feeling smothered but i don't feel like it's exactly at you how do they feel about gemini all right yeah this person wants things to work with you and they would like to be happy they want to be content but there is something in the way and it's beyond them changing they can't they can't change it there's something there that they have to deal with and it can be that this person just feels overloaded and like there's too much going on between the two of you, but there's like uh, the choice has already been made, the damage has already been done, and now they're kind of like, okay, you know, I I can see moving forward with you. I would like to build something. We're gonna have to just take it day by day. But this is somebody that feels like they've made a mess between the two of you because of whatever they have done, but they still want to try to work things out, put the work into it. Curious on if things are still going to go okay or there is that potential, like I said, of a child. All right. Okay. Shake it off. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Four of coins, ten of coins, and eight of coins. A lot of earth here. Why the four of coins? All right. This person's kind of holding back as far as a something to celebrate. It's almost like they're being a little bit um, stingy or insecure and holding on for dear life to the thought of possibly getting back together. This is somebody that feels like you could be codependent or that you make them feel insecure. They also might be feeling jealous and closed off emotionally. They can be bitter, depressed. This can be somebody that's really going through it because of a breakup. And their action is speaking mounds. This is somebody that wants all... The, I'm working on telling you everything. I'm working on letting go of fear. I'm working on my insecurities. How do you see them? Sneaky fucker. And holding back. It's like this person needs to learn how to open up to you. Yeah, no shit. You know, there's a disappointment and that you need to open up and tell me what you're really thinking. You just feel like this person's holding back. It's like there's passion there, but you keep, keep kind of keeping me a little bit out of the loop on what's actually going on or does lie. It's a likely outcome here. There is still a feeling of things they need to open up because at the bottom of the deck, it's like there needs to be, you know, wake up person, smell the coffee and, and get with the program here. You need to make this a new phase where you actually open up to people and that you're not afraid of people. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Well, work harder, work harder because right now I'm getting irritated and I'm feeling like you need to come clean with me and be more honest with me. I mean, this is just kind of like a limbo and some issues between you and this person where they kind of just hold on tight. They can also be obsessive where they, you know, you're my person. No, I'm not going to claim my ass. Tax season's just about done. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay. This person feels like you could definitely be the right one for them. They would, they feel a sense of this going somewhere. All right, to clarify that ace, we have the chariot. They feel like they have to have courage. This is somebody that might be suddenly more aware that they possibly didn't give you what you needed or becoming regretful over what they've done in the past. It's like they're finally going... I see my part, I see my role and what's gone bad between the two of us and they have some regret. So they're like, wake up, smell the coffee. They've neglected you and they're coming, they're coming clean with themselves. They're reaching out possibly after a period of isolation, but is it too late? Is it too late? I still have feelings for you. I will, I will, yeah, I will take the karma stick upside the head because I've been a dipshit and the you feel like this person has been possibly 
hustling you and not being exactly honest with you about being single or that they weren't honest with you like they wanted their freedom or they were, were ready to settle down anytime soon and you're kind of like that don't work for me yeah see it's like don't treat me like a hoe oh, that ain't gonna happen uh things have got your energy here things need to be even you got to give to get you can't just keep taking and taking and taking clarify blockage selfish okay we take the blockage and we flip it they need to change their evil ways and start putting some work into it you're saying you're working on it and start doing it don't be lazy this is like you need to release your fears and love and, you know, let the shit go. It's like they've got their own damn demons and they're putting the problem here. And you're kind of going, I'm not a side piece. I'm not having that shit. I've got more respect for myself and I'm not dealing with it. I don't like to feel jealous. I don't like to feel used. And they're kind of going, okay, I know I have to change, but can we work on some moderation and some balance and some harmony without you, kind, you know, really ripping into my ass? But this is like... Give me another chance to show you that I can change things. I can change how open I am. And that is the, right here, I would like to make things right. There needs to be more moderation. This person needs to be more open. And they're finding that they have to put both feet in the water. Otherwise, they will lose you. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. Shallow. Oh, very much fucked up in the head. The sick puppy. They want another opportunity with you, but they seem like they have feelings that uh, are a bit twisted. As in, screwing around, ho. I've got secrets, and it's so hard to keep them. Well, maybe if you, you know, this is like the bad liar. How the hell can you, and you don't, you don't know what to do with this person. You're like, I, you know what? I don't have any, I don't want to think about you right now. Uh-uh. You are definitely wishful thinking if you think that I'm going to give you a second chance right now. So, give me the blockage because that's major red flags going. All right. This person, <laughs> they don't see long term. They don't see past their nose and what they can touch. This is somebody that plays it safe or they were rubbing noses or other things, playing footsie with another person. This is possibly a third party making bad choices. And this is like, hello, uh, secrets have come out. And this could have been somebody that they had on the side where they're, avoiding you finding out and only giving you sur surface knowledge and yet your your red flag radar was going off so you'd be hesitating to give this person any but i'm going to make everything better really it's such a waste of time mm, oh look at that no shit that damn seven of cups you're not sure you are not sure first of all it's like i miss you and i care about you however there's I'm sick of having to be paranoid about where you are and what you're doing and they're acting like it's so it's like this, this does not have to be that difficult shallow hollow it does look like you miss this person but it does look like they have a roaming eye and yet the both of you want to make try to make things work uh I would be very cautious with that one what is the likely outcome <sighs> Okay, you're crazy. Giving this person attention, giving them the recognition, and possibly that they were someone that felt that they didn't get enough attention from you. How much attention do they need? Seriously. But there's still hope here. All right, single source. Gemini Libra Quayas. Intention. Ooh, they want to move things fa really fast. I fancy you. I'm so sexually into you. I'm making quick decisions. And you're like, slow down there a little bit. Yeah, or you'll bail. Now, this can be that you're thinking this person's going to apologize to... Now, if this is like you just started seeing somebody and things got rocky... Excuse me. It's because they are overly ambitious and kind of pushy. Because at the bottom of the deck... It's looking like you, you feel like uh, a little tense when it comes to this person. It's kind of like, 
Um, don't push. Please don't push. I, I don't know that I'm comfortable. It makes you feel apprehensive. So you need a little bit of space and time to kind of mull things over with this person. It's like, is this lust or love? Mm -mm -mm. I just don't look at this shit. You got, fuck you, I'm walking away, don't want to talk to you, I need to block your ass. I, I get this, this could be like stalker type. Don't like it. They're way pushy. Way, way pushy. And you're kind of going, um, you know, I, I don't want to deal with your bullshit apologies. And you fucking walk away in a big huff and then you think you can come back and everything's fine. I think I just, you know, I'm enough with this being rejected shit and I'm just walking my own way and I'm isolating. In other words, go away. So whoever is coming your direction seems kind of like a, an asshole, but they want an opportunity. Just give me an opportunity. And I don't feel like this person's ever going to change. So what you see at first is what you're going to get in the long run. I would just be careful. And they can be real. Mm, I mean, everything's got to be like this. That ain't no good. Uh-uh. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, heavily. And this is the um, on the outside feeling like there's a loss and the mindset of no, not happening. Look at this. I'm walking. I'm walking. I'm walking. Away, away, away. I don't want any drama. I'm going to bite my tongue, but they still, I want a chance with you when I'm coming in and I'm agitated. No, we don't really give a shit if you're agitated. This was just for the sign, but I'll tell you, this, this King of Swords here reverse would definitely be somebody that is a manipulator and misuses their power and tries to manipulate you in a way like they're partially narcissistic tendencies where everything is mine 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 and they're they're cold and irrational and that's an asshole it's just an asshole all right let's see gemini libra aquarius very heavy let's see what else we got and i'm going to pull two cards here timing cards for singles or for an answer. You have next full moon, which is soon, and then you have an April. So this is kind of like any day now type energy. All right. Don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. All right, especially if you're screwing somebody else. Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Capricorn, Cancer, Sagittarius, Libra, Leo, Heavily, Pisces and Cancer heavily as well. Scorpio and Libra Taurus. All right, that's what we have for you, my jemmies, and on we go. Cancers, my crab and pates. All right, first of all, I want to tell you if I pull the card closer to my face, it's because I broke my glasses. All right. If you were doing an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, page of wands. Ooh. It's like a kid in a candy store. Mm. What do you think of me? This is definitely somebody that wants to shake up your world a little bit. They want to know if you're available. This is somebody that does want to come at you in a very respectful way. They want to succeed. We like that. How do you see them? No, oh, you're curious, but you're not so sure. I would say that you, it's like, I need to, I need to learn more about you. You need the Spanish Inquisition. You're kind of holding back. How the hell am I supposed to be knowing that you're actually interested? Seriously, person. Why the Page of Swords? Yeah, you're just not sure if the, it's almost like they put you in this position of, are you acting childish? Are you even really interested? In, and they're kind of like, no, sir, I'm being serious. And you're kind of going, well, then why do you possibly have other options? You just feel like this person might be paying attention to other people or that there's a, a trust issue with this person. And you feel like they kind of keep some things to themselves or they're like they're reserving or not letting you know something about them. And... Uh-uh. It's like, I don't trust this. So what's the blockage? One more. 
No, nah, this looks like somebody that basically had possibly said that they wanted their freedom, their cake and eat it too, and now they want to try to come in and have a new phase with you. They're going to act more responsible. Well, I'm sorry, but if you had other choices before, this is a fucking illusion. You think you're just coming back around. Are you thinking and watching them and thinking that, um, or accusing, basically, you're playing around with other people. Now you're coming back like flirty, flirty. You're going to be a big boy or girl and put on your big boy panties and act like an adult. It's likely I'll come because I'm nosy. No, that's a big fat no. No, there's too many insecurities, and this could be somebody that's codependent. Like, they constantly have to be with somebody, and things didn't work out with somebody else, and now they think they should come back? Uh, no. No, no, no. You broke my heart. I'm being bitter about it, and that's a big fat no. All right. It's like, I'm not thinking so. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, please. No, seriously. So, you know... In the beginning, I, I just kind of had my values all fucked up. I was holding back because there was another fucking person. You see that? I have fear of commitment, and I'm holding on to things that I should be telling you about. What is the blockage? All right. So the blockage is this person doesn't put the hard work into things. They don't know what they want. It's like lack of planning. I don't put any work into it. I don't know what the hell you expect from me in the first place. Oh, woe is me. I can't handle it. It's too much stress. It's too much work. I can't handle it. It's more work than I'm willing to put in. It's more work than it's worth. And this could person could have had a roaming eye and put you in a third party, yes. But there's also the feeling of they don't know how to plan nothing. We start from ground zero and I'm going to give you what you want. I'm going to be responsible. But they're fucking holding back. No. It's such a burden to have to make up your mind. The likely outcome is fighting about it, duking it out. This would be like, you cause me way too much fucking stress. You're, you're missing one staff here. You're one f step away from just taking the, the fifth stick and smacking the shit out of these other four just to knock them down. It's like, uh-uh. I, I don't feel like the two of us are on the same page. I, I, I feel like you're argumentative that you possibly had other lovers. And I'm, I'm kind of, I, I need to avoid you. I'm not going to play your games anymore. I don't want to deal with it. I'm avoiding you and your bullshit. <sighs> but you might be willing to forgive. Is it a waste of time, though? I don't know. I mean, they could be really good in the sack, but that ain't going to help you here. They don't invest. Are you overthinking things? Are you making things what they actually aren't? But it does seem like this person holds back, has really shitty value and fear of commitment, and they don't know what the hell they want. They make bad choices, and then they hold back. They don't tell you the honest to God truth, and you're going, how the hell am I supposed to make this work if you are t untrusting, controlling your emo emotions, possibly possessive? There's a sense of greed about this person when it comes to are they footing around with somebody else and making bad choices and therefore they're suffering so they're gonna they're gonna be more reliable they're gonna live up to your expectations don't you know but there's that they know you're guarded and it's almost like they're out to prove you wrong you are definitely in the position of this is a waste of my fucking time or you're way too distracted person to actually put this work into it you feel like there's something that they are holding back and you are not aware of and oof <sighs> Could be a third party, doesn't have to be, but it's just got you pissed. It's like, I resent you, I feel empty, you hollow, shallow asshole, I just don't want to deal with it. That can be a divorce as well. It's like, as low as I'm going with my heartbreak and sorrow and depression and not juggling my ass, no, you feel like they've made a mess of shit. It's like, you need to prioritize things better. Know what the hell is actually important versus what's not. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Hair font reverse, the three of cups, and no. No, you can get rid of this one too. Uh, I, I already feel like you're kind of going, you know, you need to be punished very heavily. Karma will get you. 
You are not trusting, trustable, sorry. It's like you've lied to my face too many fucking times. You're a habitual liar. I don't believe anything that comes out of your mouth. You're in separation and you and you just feel like there's no balance. This person needs to take accountability for their actions. So what what have they got going on? I'm out partying and having a good time. I'm keeping things to myself. I have secrets that I do not want you to find out about. They're very shallow. Why so shallow and why do we have red flags here? Because they do whatever the hell they want. Whatever's going to make them happy in the moment. Why the hair font reverse? Because that's definitely not committing. They're not going to change. What do they want? I'd say fucking nothing. They could be living in the past and possibly want forgiveness from you. But they're not acting like it. And your energy... Are you hopeful? Are you trying to... It's like, are you going to keep your promises? This, this Jealousy. Stop making me feel like there's competition. I have to stick up for myself. And I want to stab you with a, a spork. I, I don't feel like... This can be that they've made you feel jealous. This can be that you constantly feel like you're being challenged because they're flirty with other people. This can be that you feel like you have to work too hard to get this person's attention. Why in the hell should I have to do that? It's like, now I'm fucking defensive. And I'm protecting myself. Trying to heal, possibly. Give me a likely outcome. I feel like you just are, are trying to get the courage up to tell this person that it's not working for you. Because you got the magician reversed and the two of coin came back up. So it's like this person isn't committed to you. And this would be saying, I don't, I don't trust you, narcissistic asshole. You're a manipulator. So you're going to hold back, at least for the time being. You're sticking up for what is yours, and that's your heart. It's like, I'm taking the high ground. I got morals and values, and you're not sticking to the program here. But they like to party and have a good time, possibly drink, and not going to change. This is a commitment fold that is not going to change. They hold on to their freedom. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, honey. No. Whatever floats their boat. But Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Okay. All right, so this person is giving you space in a major way. Space here, space here, space here. I want to give you space so that you can think about what's coming between us in the future. I want there to be a future, I'm trying to come up with a new, a, a new perspective on things. This is somebody that wants to heal the connection. They want balance between the two of you, but... Are they a bossy prick? Is this somebody that's reckless? Are they so stubborn that they feel like waiting you out is going to work? What's the blockage? Not good. One more. They wanted their cake and eat it too. This is somebody that wasn't ready to settle down. Uh-uh. Could have also had issues sexually like getting it up. But they get bored and then they possibly go, No, I need to be single for a while again. I need to be independent. Because I have my man cave or girl cave and I do not share well with others. I feel like they're a bossy jackass. Ooh, there's your justice reversed. Oh, you guilty asshole. Did they treat you like an option? Did they make a big fucking mess out of shit? They need to prioritize better and right here with justice reversed, you feel like they're never going to get their shit together. So it's like, um, your motives are not good. And there's a feeling of possibly blaming each other because I'll tell you, this person right here, ooh. Emperor Reverse can be a real stuffy shirt. And always has to be right. They can be extremely bossy, demanding, a user, a tyrant, abusive, whether it's physically or uh mentally or verbally and and they act like there's there's no confidence so they take it out on you well it's your reason that i don't feel good about myself but they still want to try to make things work what is the likely outcome i don't like the abusive part fuck you person and with the cut you get the magician reversed again manipulating asshole I don't feel like they're good at how they plan things anyway where it's like they can't pull shit off but there's heartbreak here so why should you give them an opportunity? And I feel like there's been crap between the two of you and they just, no, we'll have peace. Everything will be quiet. I'll get my shit together. No, you won't. You won't get your shit together. You're never going to change. But I'm offering you a cup and you're going to take it. 
No, how about I don't? And I pack your fucking bags and you go away. What I, out of sight, out of mind. Singles, who, source? Yeah, 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 yeah. Libra Taurus. Intention. Ooh. I want good luck. And I want love. Now, I will say that this person might be a little bit mysterious or shy on the emotional side, but deep down they want love. They want love. And you are kind of like, I will friends on your ass first. I'm just becoming available, or this person is just becoming available. So it's like, I'm kind of accepting. I want to be happy. But this can be something that it takes, it takes time. You want to work on it slowly because you want it to be very concentrated on this. It's like, I really want this to go somewhere. I need to know more about you, but you're still manifesting this connection. There is a desire here to keep learning about this person. This is like, they think it's good luck having met you. They feel like it was an inevitable. I mean, this can be the type of person that's into fate and very mushy, lovey-dovey and poetry and songs and music that you like. And they'll put it on the radio when you walk in the door type thing. They're like, you know, they pre-plan things a little bit. And you're kind of going, oh, I never had that before. This is kind of interesting. But you're very, very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Focused on seeing if this could go somewhere. It's like, I would really like to see this as a new chapter and going for it. You might drag your feet a little bit, but choosing happiness nonetheless. All right, and then for singles, we're going to get two from my timing cards. We have sooner than expected and in the spring. So this is like an any day, any day now. All right, let's go through the majors for you guys. If I can reach across the table with a killing myself here all right okay nobody jumping please taurus leo scorpio aquarius libra taurus pisces cancer aries heavily libra sagittarius leo pisces cancer heavy leo aquarius scorpio taurus gemini Peekaboo, peekaboo. And the hermit, we got Virgo. But all signs are in there. All right, my crabby patties, that's what we have for you. And on we go. La 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 Leos. All right, just so you know, I broke my glasses. So if I pull the cards really close to my face, it's because I can't see. We're using the pinup girl deck for you. So this is what it looks like. La lingerie. You are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius source. This person's thoughts, feelings. Okay. Is this a secret crush? This person thinks that you smell good, you look good, but they don't want to tell you about it? Two of Wands. Oh, they might think that you have other options and they ain't liking it. How do you see them? Knight of Pentacles. And the Torah Reversed. Don't compare to people from the past. I have to warn you about that. This also can be that you feel like this person is looking for a rebound. Possibly trying to recover. Because what are they hiding? I don't like it. I mean, they, they really dig you and everything. But two of wands, they're trying to make up their mind or making plans to... Making plans to what? Uh, that no this person's gonna never be completely honest with you about their plans five of swords is indicative of being a, a liar car liar pants liar pants can't be completely honest can't completely give you the truth this is somebody that is just like i'm frustrated and they're a sore loser and they feel like you've been f taken for it granted and they're always out to win. They plot against you. Somebody that's vengeful and feeds into their own damn ego. Hurtful words if they're not chosen. What is their problem? Three of Wands. And the Three of Swords. So the damage here is somebody that needs to get over the past shit. Somebody could have been stringing them along. but And it's like, oh, I didn't fucking do it. I didn't do it. This can be somebody that's moving way too slow for you. It's like, yeah, the great, you're interested. But the secrets are that they're hurt from the past and they dwell on it. 
The Three of Swords when it reverses, like, I have suffered great grief. Well, you, you know, who the fuck hasn't? I mean, great. Anybody who over the age of 15 has had a heartache of some sort. Seriously. Well, it's your fault that I... No, it's not anybody's fault that you feel that way. You were choosing to feel this way. Don't hang on to the past. Sad ass. It's like, all about you. It's all about me. So they're frustrated. They're, they're fatigued. They could be uh, thinking you're on the arrogant side. And that you're stringing them along. It's a likely outcome here. King of Wands. Oh, they're they're still going to get your attention. They're still going to get your attention. But if you see this person as somebody that it's like you're moving a little bit too slow. And I think you're still stuck in the past. And they can be somebody that's like, I don't push me to make decisions. And possibly argumentative about it. And they still have secrets. And it does feel like they're hurting from somebody else so that would put them stuck in the past and they need to get the fuck over it all right gemini libra aquarius five of pentacles fuck you i don't want to talk to you this person's defensive as hell possibly jealous oh they're jealous this is somebody that can't get over their ex so let's just say it's you what's the blockage here all right one more. Okay, we got two more. All right, so you have somebody that could be, it's almost like they're a cheap asshole. Cheap asshole, I'm not buying supper tonight. I ain't buying this. I ain't paying attention to you. I'm not doing this. I'm going to do that. And somebody that's always like, what do you mean by that? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Well, right now they're being quiet as hell. They're very defensive over their ex. If this is somebody that you're dealing now, Okay, if Leo is dealing with this person, how do you feel towards them? You're breaking my fucking heart, and yet you're sexually attracted to them. Bottom of the deck. I think deep down you know that this person's not over somebody else, or that you're kind of being had. It's like, are we going to make something of this, or are you still, again, with the feeling of being stuck in the past? Ace of Wands, I am not going to be just sex for you, first of all, even if my ass is that cute. But this would say that this person is a cheap ass, that things are never even. And judgment would be possibly bringing things up and you could be going, I need to know more ab about you. I just get uncomfortable when I think about you. When I think about you, I ain't touching myself. No, I feel like you're not completely being honest with me. I feel like there's something, it's like, okay, I'm going to research. You're being standoffish. It's like you kind of fear the motives that this person has and some cynical doubt when it comes to this person. So you're not going to let your guard down. But are they a cheap ass that won't pay for supper? And this can be that this person's on the outside of the home with their ex and they're not over their ex. Uh, 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 uh. And you're kind of going, I, you, you don't really have interest in me, but you want to screw, you cheap ass. Cheap asshole. Likely outcome. Okay. So, I don't know why in the hell, but Source is saying that it will get better over time. Four of Cups reversed. This person's got to get over their, their bullshit first. Because this person could have been blocked by somebody else or whatever the case. But this would say that this person's rethinking and feeling guilty about things. So if this is your ex, they're wanting to come back around. I've rethought this. I really treated you like shit. I've been, you know, thinking about you. Blah, 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 blah. But makeup sex is not the way to go. And with the Page of Cups reversed, you could be like, you're not sorry. There's nothing fucking sorry about you. You've made me feel heartbroken and, and jealous and depressed about this. And it's like, and, and, and yet, um, makeup sex is still on the table. Seriously, what the hell is that? You guys are confusing me. Okay, that one just about bent. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Knight of Swords. The Chariot. Okay, this person's got like a flame under their ass to get their ass moving okay they're not over you this is definitely somebody that's coming in and basically i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna do that and i have the idea that we still are going to move forward and get over anything from our past why the chariot because i fucking love you damn it why the knight of swords why are they huffing and puffing so hard 
Seven of Cups. Oh. This person thinks that things are still up in the air. They're not over you. And so what's the blockage? What's the blockage? Mm. The blockage is how they act. This could have been somebody that the whole time that you were in a connection with them, they acted like they were confused about somebody else, like they didn't know exactly what they wanted. And now they're like, no, it is you that I wanted. I'm not over the two of us, and yet you're trying to get over me. This is somebody that disappoints you emotionally, doesn't know what the hell they want, um, loses emotions and acts disappointed and bored and closed off and then possibly jealous, but they're not over the past. How do you see this person? Devil. Four of Wands. Okay, I mean, you basically feel like they just want to screw it and bail. Because the devil gets whatever the hell they want. So it's somebody that smooth talks you into being with them out of what? Fucking pity? Why the hell should you have to pity this person? Clarify the Knight of Swords. Emperor. You don't let this person claim your ass if they still don't know what the hell they want. It's almost like I got to hurry up and claim Leo because they might get attention from other people and there's jealousy issue. No, no, their intentions aren't the, what are their intentions? Clarify their intentions. Okay. Possessive, possessive and basically wanting to claim you are mine. Really? I mean, I'm your, I'm yours. Oh, but you hesitate to show emotions. Mm -hmm. You wait for the right time. You calculate the risk versus the rewards, and you're careful not to get emotionally too caught up. Put that one back in. So are they possessive of you? Looks like with the bottom of the deck being your energy, you got the Ten of Wands. I've really had enough of this. It's like you are more stressed than this is worth. It's it's like they act like you need a fucking leash on your neck. All right, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Oh, I find sexy time to be so much fun. But I'm not going to be devoted. Nine of Pentacles. I'm in no hurry to settle down anytime soon. I keep my money separate from you. Another miser with finances. Why the Nine of Coins? Mm-mm. No, this is somebody that if if you had been in a connection with them, they possibly were flirting around with another person on the outside. Three of Cups reversed. Oh, they love to have a good time, but it isn't always with you. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I feel disconnected f from you, and I'm entertaining others romantically, but how did you find out? Because you ended things and said you wanted some freedom or you wanted some space, and they're not going to... Mm -mm. Give me the blockage. Fool. And the Five of Wands. Well, I'm sorry, but that's competition. They like to be footloose and fancy free and start new things up, but with the Five of Wands, they don't back up their their drama. They are they're they make you feel unsure of where the hell you stand with them. Put you in competition with other people. And yet you want to try to make things work. Try to have balance. And you're afraid that this person might never do that. You want this person, nine of swords, I'm all up in my head. I, this is, my mind's just doing 90 miles an hour. I want to try to make things work. I need to come at them moderately. Why? Because they have a fucking temper? Don't, don't do that. This definitely can be somebody with a temper, by the way, just saying. But they're all flirty, flirty with more than one person. They're never going to, it's like they're not offering anything long term. It's like they rock the boat because they can't settle the fuck down. I'm single. I want to be by myself. I'm constantly leaving bodies in the wake. And no. It's a likely outcome. The hermit. Stay home. Stay home. Try to heal. This is not somebody that's giving you what, what you want. And with the hermit here, it's almost like they choose to emotionally withdraw so that they can basically, I'm trying to figure myself out. You need to be patient. I just want to be by myself right now. But they got secrets. We don't like secrets. No. Non-committal and cheap asses. That's what you guys have today. Seriously. Single source who? 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Intentions with my singles. Six of Wands. Ooh. So you could meet this person through friends, but this is somebody that's like, hello, I get your attention. I'm very attracted to you. How do you feel towards them? Happy, happy. Okay, so it's like you feel like this person might have a lot to offer. There can be an age difference, but it's like I, I'm feeling trusting with this person. And you can see them for who they truly are. But it's like they look like the commitment type. And you would be happy to see where things could go. It's like I'm happy to see you. And there is a little lusty in the sun card as well. And they're like, I want your attention. And I want to learn about you. So they want to kind of keep you at arm's length so that they can figure you out. But with the six of wands, they definitely want your attention. How does this move forward for singles? Okay, you got the Wheel of Fortune. It's going to be a time thing. But at the bottom of the deck, all of your manifesting and positive thoughts, and I hope this person's like this, and kind of inventing this single person will pay off. Let's get two cards from the timing deck and see when. In act September or October. September or October. So you got a little bit of a wait, but you know. It isn't terrible, but this is a timing card too. So it's like when when you're over your ex or when you're ready for a transition, sometimes we hold ourselves back a little bit. But this does look nice. I want your attention in the worst way. Ooh, heavy Leo energy. Let's see what else we got here. And then heavy air signs for singles. All right. Virgo, Aries, Sagittarius. Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Aries, Cancer. Cancer seems to pop into your chart quite often. Dwelling in the past, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer that wants your butt. The fire signs want your butt. They want your butt. All right, Leos, that's who we have for you. On we go. Virgos, let's jump in. If you are dealing with Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Okay. Two more. All right. Okay. So what flew out for you guys? This person's having a hard time trying to get over you, and they do not want you to know about it. So clarify the moon. It's like they're trying to keep it to themselves. Oh, there's still feelings. They don't want you to know about it, though. I'm having such a hard time. It's just not worth it. This person feels like you wouldn't give them another opportunity, and then they just have to move on. So what is a blockage? Well, could they have been a commitment phobe and you lost interest? Because this is basically looking like you kind of went, I'm done with this shit. You pissed me off. Let's see what you think. What do you think? Your feelings. You're dropping the toxic shit and you're not happy. But you're done defending yourself. You're, you're like, I'm not open to this anymore. I'm not going to be vulnerable to you anymore. This just seems like somebody that kind of acted like they wanted their cake and needed to. And now they fucked up. And know that there's almost like no going back anymore. But I'm, I've am i got willful power. No, you're not getting another chance with Virgo. And they don't want to talk to you. But they don't want you to know that there are feelings involved. They still care. Whether they try to, uh, try to convince you otherwise. Why? Why? I want to know why. They can't stop thinking about you. They cannot stop thinking about you. And yet they don't want to do a damn thing. All right. See how you... Okay. Bottom of the deck. You, you don't trust it anymore. You're kind of like, you're all talk. It's all talk. You're a deceptive asshole. And I've heard through the grapevine enough shit that even if half of it was true, I'm done. Not dealing with it anymore. You're fucking childish. I'm done. Done? Done. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, source. All right. Temperance. Okay. In a hurry. I'm a quick thinker. That's great. 
Okay. Why the Knight of Swords? Uh, yeah. This person, it's like they have emotional ADD. They're quick, they're ambitious, they're give me, give me. I'm defending what I believe in. And this person's kind of going back and forth about walking away, but there's still this feeling of disappointment. Do I walk away first or is Virgo going to? Deep down, this is somebody that would like to actually talk things through. One more for temperance. They might be planning to try to tell you that they want to try to make plans. They want to try to discover if the two of you could have peace. How do you see them? All right. Conflict. And a player. Oh, we don't like that. We don't like anyone that's like, okay, you're on the outside of the house doing whatever the hell you want. And... You're all over the place. You're scattered. You can't settle down. You think you're Mr. Passion fucking pony and you always got a heart on for anything that's running past your face. Like, are you looking at the chick's tits? Are you looking at that? Don't be doing that shit when I'm around. Don't do that. This is somebody that's impatient, that's a player, that's vain, self-serving, a show-off, and, and possibly narcissistic tendencies, but they don't want to settle down. The communication sucks. So I'm just fine. I'm leaving. They've got secrets that came out. No. Hidden agenda. Happy horseshit. And look at this shit. I don't know if I want to stick around or if I have another option. So um, I'm just going to reject you and walk away. Screw it. I'm leaving everything behind. But hurry up and wait. Hurry up and wait. They still think about trying to talk to you this can be that they still want to make progress but they got it shit or get off the pot or it's going to be too late to try to take things back because this can be a harmony and a new level of trust and all it is right now is thoughts they have that emotional add going on that they don't put any work into things that they, they don't value things of so the eight of pentacles reverse it's like do you not see the potential that you are dropping and letting go of preoccupied with giving up and nothing's good enough for you and what the <laughs> player no all right cancer scorpio pisces the world five of Cups. okay so i want to reach out and never could ever grab you i have regrets and i'm fucking serious this person's thinking with their head they're, they're like, can we start over? Can we can we start over? I'm curious. Are you gonna are you are you gonna give me the time of day if I come back and apologize? And I'm really serious about it. Why the world? They they have an apology. They definitely have an apology in mind here. There's definitely some regret on feelings and going, man, I shoulda, I woulda, shoulda, coulda. What do they do? That's a blockage. That ain't good. They suck in the sack. One more. One more. They could have been selfish in the sack. Just saying. Okay, well, we don't like this at all. I mean, there's no nastier way of saying fucking third party screwing around because I get bored. You get bored? Really, you always need something exciting, do you? I mean, it's looking like you're majorly fucking disappointed in this person. It's like, you broke my fucking heart. I thought things were going to be good. I had felt satisfied now i'm completely everything else you wanted your cake and eat it too i don't feel like this connection was ever emotionally or physically satisfying you suck in the sack and they thought possibly that things were just casual between the two of you oh but i'm gonna drop the drama sure you are you don't trust it you're like you know what you bossy asshole you're never going to come in you don't have you don't even know the first thing about it there's no mercy for you anymore i'm not gonna deal with your manipulation you wanted your fucking freedom have it in spades go 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 play with your toys i hope you run out of battery juice all right i want one for likely it'll come let me see do they reach out reversed yes Oh, they do. However, it's Ace of Cups reversed. So, are you going to tell this person, I've lost the loving feeling because of what they've done? I don't feel the same way about you, you toxic, unstable asshole. It's not compatible with your even your own damn reflection. Yes, I do feel that way very strongly. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This coffee. Okay. So, sitting in limbo... 
this person, they feel like the two of you, things did not work out. But why are we sitting there waiting? Are they just going to let go? No, they actually want to talk. I'm going to have a breakthrough. I want a new beginning. I'm going to be honest with you this time. We need to talk. I'm being logical. Yeah, definitely I'm going to be logical about this connection that we don't have anymore. Why? Why? What do they want? They want to apologize. And they want to get away with murder. So what are they dishonest about? <laughs> This is somebody that has insecurities and they don't want to be single but jump on the first fucking wig into the next damn port easily. I'm going to come in and I'm going to apologize because you're the one that got away and uh -uh, they don't want you to be successful without them. They're insecure. How do you feel? How do you feel towards this person? Oh, be careful. Oh, be careful. Do not feel like you can put a Band-Aid on this person and that it's kind of like, it's about time because this would be contemplating. I'm very restless. I still have feelings for this person, but why should you have to put the Band-Aid on them? Help them with their their feelings. Get all touchy-feely with them. Say, like, I can fix you. Don't think you can fix them. Uh-uh. I have my natural instincts will make everything all better. This person's codependent. Run. And they don't put any work into it. It's like this was a painful ending and they go, we're going to, we're going to talk. Just, just, this doesn't, we're going to, we're going to talk about boundaries. Really? How about you just go home? Go home. Single source. Scorpio. One more. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Intentions towards my singles. Worried about getting your attention. Might have some insecurities, generally speaking. Nervous. Uh, you're not so trusting it. You're like, this person seems kind of sneaky. I'm going to turn my back and move forward into a different connection. I need somebody that's responsible. You don't like it. There's something about this person you don't like. You feel like they're... Hmm... I'll talk no action or somebody that makes you feel paranoid. It's like, I just, there's something quite not quite right about you. You might feel like they ignore you as a punishment. You just don't trust it. You feel like they're constantly plotting somebody or possibly they're gossipy behind your back. You're not interested. Mm -mm. Nope. Not interested. I, I, I never can plan on you doing what you say you're going to do. I never know where the hell you're going. You're careless. No, I don't want to plan on none of this. And they're all worried about getting your attention. Probably for a good reason. Because you're going, I need somebody that's mature and responsible. And I'm turning my back from your argumentative ass. I can walk away from your crap. I don't need it. Be a bully to somebody else. No. Let's see what we have for singles. Source. Source. Timing. Look at that shit. Everything's up in the air and try later. You basically have one bonehead coming in before. And I mean, look at this just for signs. Please. I don't want to see you. You're a shit show. You feel like there's too much with this person. I mean, you'd see them with their house burning on fire and needing some water. We don't need the water. Let the mother burn. Burn, mother Bird and not not digging it. You're just like, I don't, I don't see this shit happening. This person's a shit show. So let them be all up in their head. Don't care. Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for singles. Heavy, but it does look like you're planning on going a different direction. You might not have expected this person to show you attention because it does look like they are nervous about getting yours. And it's like, maybe you don't deserve Virgo's attention. Libra, Taurus. Pisces, Cancer, Aries, Taurus, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Pisces, eh, eh, don't run away, Leo, Capricorn, Cancer, and Pisces, Cancer, heavily. All right, my Virgos, that's a what do we have for you. On we go. Libra, if you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Okay, what do we got? Ooh. 
I want you, you shall make me happy. This person thinks that you're emotionally available and hard to try. What do you think of them? Oh, you're open to it. You're putting the moves on. This is like Hello Good Luck Charm. Ooh, 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 ooh. So this person's going to chase you. They feel like they would be so happy with you that they're going to burst. And you're kind of going, yep, I definitely want to see this go somewhere. Could be at a physical distance. This does feel like singles. So if this is somebody from the past, will you forgive me? I will give you more attention. This is something that it's like I would keep my promises and we could be happy together again. And you would say if you change, things are going to go better, but you need to take the action and do so. Otherwise, I will distance my ass. So if it's somebody from the past, what was the blockage? Let's see if we get some clarity. All right. Okay, so the blockage was somebody not wanting to change. Somebody acting like things couldn't get worse, making mountains out of molehills. There was definitely the feeling of harmony and love here, but somebody decided to walk away and they learned their lesson or so they feel and you're saying they need to change. They need to make things better. They can't just, uh, they got to watch what they say. They can't be shitty towards you. They can't, uh, they can't act like it's the end of the world if they don't get their way about something. What else can we say about that? I, you know, it can be that they, you still feel the sting and have some regret, some resentment and they have some regrets. So can we still heal this connection? Yes. Yes. But it's like they need to put the work into it. And it can be that they need to heal. And I mean a physical heal. I don't necessarily, I mean, yes, they need to heal the connection. But there could be something um, as far as physical healing that needs to help as well. Alrighty, because that Queen of Cups says so. I'm telling you. Alrighty then. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Weighing out the pros and cons. All right, so this person can be going back and forth, mulling it over. Do I want to, do I, on one hand, these are the good things about Libra. On the other hand, these are the negative qualities. This person feels like there's still an abundance. They want to take action. All right. The blockage is the devil. I don't like the devil. And the page of cups reversed. This seems like somebody that emotionally kind of pulls on your heartstrings the wrong way. Causes disappointments because they, what? What are they doing with their behavior? That would be um, somebody that's very good at talking the talk, but not following through. Where things had just been lust, but not love. Alluring, possibly some gaslighting, possibly a little bit of a, there's definitely toxic issues here, but it's like struggling with an addiction and disappointments. So this person might have screwed shit up and now they're kind of going back and forth about trying to you know get forgiveness forgiveness forgive forgiving forgiveness forgiveness i make up new words all the time how do you see them all right okay it's like i know you are going to use your wits and your charm to try to get your way but right now the answer is no i don't have any faith in you right now that's a blockage. One more for the blockage besides the devil. But I didn't put any work into this. This is somebody that was preoccupied with another person. Or that they made it seem like nothing was ever too was ever good enough for them. They they could have been a player, they could have acted like you were another notch in their belt, or that somebody else had been that way, but you kind of don't feel like you're on the same page. It's like if you I'm giving up if you're preoccupied with another person. I mean, that's like emotional ADD, vain. So you're basically saying, not now, maybe not never. I don't want to talk to you. You abandoned me. I have a low self-esteem now, and uh-uh. But they're, they're going back and forth. Do I do this? Do I not? Did I treat them like an option? Kind of looks that way. Ah, oh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Three of Cups. Temperance. Okay. Ooh. So I want to be happy. If you want to be happy for the rest of your life, find an ugly woman and make your wife. Your energy says you're digging this. 
So this person might be very protective over you. This is somebody that wants to be comfortable in a connection. This can be, if you're single, this is meeting this person out and about and trying to do some Netflix chill and see where things are going and they want to move things into a long term. That's their idea. I would say that you're aware of it or they feel like they have a lot to, to offer at least. Nice. And if it's an ex, the blockage is disappointments in love, possibly moodiness, possibly disappointing and flirting with others if not screwing around. Yeah, and then this could have been this person lacking any confidence and not willing to commit because we're going the blockage this way. So the Page of Pentacles, when it's reversed, is somebody that you lose interest in. So do they lose interest too, too easily and they act fake? Could also be a nerdy person, just saying. But this can be somebody that's unpredictable with their emotions. How the hell are you supposed to know how to feel about somebody if they have hurt you? It's like, I lost that loving feeling, uh, I got bored, there was jealousy issues. Anything that took a negative turn would be the, the Knight of Cups reversed. One more for how you feel, if it's an X, if it's an X. Okay, there can be a change, but their bossy attitude and their domineering bullshit and their recklessness and walking away from the connection because they get huffy and shitty has to go. Because if they are indecisive and weak or uh, lacks any confidence, they can't take it out on you. This could be somebody very bossy, demanding, can walk off very headstrong and huff. And, and it does look like they want to try to make up for this. This is wanting to heal the connection. And I, they could be a little possessive, I will say that. But I want to be comfortable. I want to feel at home. And it does seem like you want this person back. But a lot of shit's got to change first. But they want to heal that. Singles look better. Alrighty. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ten of Wands. Oh, it's so hard to work with you on things. Are you so hard to please? Seriously. Why the Ten of Wands? It's too much work. I'm all stressed out. This person needs to change their act. They need to get their shit show together. Because it's like... Oh, it's such a burden. What is a fucking burden? They don't like being single. This is somebody that is afraid of being single. They have insecurities or they're causing it. Blockage. They don't they don't want to change. It's like they they gotta change. They gotta stop screwing around behind your back would be another one too, because the ace of wands reversed is in the very least, you might suck in bed or you delay any passion. And this is hurtful. It's like hollow, hollow, empty words and stab me in the back and resentment and pain, emotional pain. I'm going to mention too um, that it can be somebody that needs to have a serious change with their health. I'm just going to put that in there because it is there and really not wanting to do so. There could be a surgery and therefore there'd be no sex. But this person, it's like something really coming just out of the blue and they're taking things so hard and they don't want to be them by themselves as they go through whatever it is. So, you know, kind of whatever most goes for you because this is somebody that's got, it's like they had a big shake up and they don't want to be alone while they go through this. So it's like, can we try to work together? I want goals. I want to come at you fair and honest. And I need to tell you a truth. It definitely needs to, to be spoken. All right, see what we have for singles. Who? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, intentions. Okay. Person would like to make plans with you, but they also might have another person there. And no, they want to pay attention to you. Give me an opportunity. I'm choosing you. I want to make progress. You would like to see where this goes, but not if they're going to be just all sex. And I say that because what wanted to come out. You got the hair font reversed at the bottom of the deck. I'm not going to do no blind blind faith bullshit anymore. If you don't have the same morals and beliefs that I do, it's kind of off, off, 
off the table. But this would be like exploring new person, flirty, flirty mood. And this would be moving in on it. But you're going to be very guarded about it. It's like I'm not dealing with, with any bullshit. This is I, I don't want jealousy crap. I, I want you. You're main, maintaining control even though you're very sexually attracted to this person. This looks very nice. And this up here, I would like to, you know, see a future with you. I would like to be happy. There could be plans as far as um, what your goals are compared to this person. But they want an opportunity. It's like, give me a chance to spend some time with you. And I would say that you are going, sure, but you're laying down the law. You're saying, these are my boundaries and you shall adhere to them. Okay, so let's get two timing cards for singles. We have November. We have within three months into November with the sleeping kitty cat. All right, so that is what we have. Let's go through the majors. We had heavy Gemini Libra Aquarius for singles. A lot of fire in here as well. Okay. And the rest of the majors. Scorpio, Libra, you got your own card. Scorpio, heavily... Aries, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Libra Taurus, Taurus Leo Scorpio Aquarius. All right, but all signs are in there, obviously. All right, Libras, that's what we have for you. And on we go. Scorpio, if you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. Okay, one, two, let's get one more. All right. Okay, so this person sees you as somebody that's level-headed. They can't stop thinking about you. They have feelings about you, but they're not doing a damn thing. They're afraid. They're afraid of moving. Ooh. They're afraid of choices that they have possibly to make. And this person right here is all up in their head, imagining what would be. Do I do this? Do I do that? Do I face my fears? They're kind of a candy ass. Let's get one more to clarify temperance. So this person sees you as possibly just having an ending and trying to heal. They can't stop thinking about you. That would be, I want to try to work things out, but they're not doing, they're not doing anything. They also could be acting a bit reckless or hesitant, but they miss you. Blockage. Okay. They didn't care before, but now they do. This is somebody that was, oh, optimistic about getting somebody else's attention. This is kind of feeling like, oh, I didn't really care. I kind of gave up on it. I was being kind of patient with myself and trying to figure out what I wanted. How you see them or your energy towards them. You're like, give it a break, person. Give it up. Because I'm not tolerating any more of this shit. This is basically telling this person that you've had enough, that you don't want to be... Stuck in a connection where you feel jealous or you feel like it's being threatened or that they're constantly challenging you and you have to keep working to get their attention. Why the hell bother? It's looking like they were just fine before. So it's a likely outcome. I feel like you are going to continue to heal. I mean, can there still be hope here? Yes, but they would have to do some fancy dancing and actually get off their ass and do something. This is where everything's all up in the air and I don't want, I've got all these things to think about. All of these illusions and they're daydreaming, but they're not doing anything. They're not moving and it can be because you're like, give it up. Give it up. I'm, I'm not dealing with this shit anymore. Trying to heal, and at the same time, they weren't worried about making decisions before, where everything was just, you know, about them and their attention with who else. Because this would tell me that they feel like they have fucked up royally, and that they did something that they can't take back. And that's how they see you, as somebody that's just done walking away, you've been through it, and you're trying to heal. Oh. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Hermit reversed, the Two of Swords reversed, one more, Justice reversed, okay, why the Hermit reversed? This person knows that if they tried to talk to you that you would rip their head off. This is somebody that sees you as not wanting to be bothered, like don't poke the bear. They they feel like you're possibly being unsupportive or that, that you are basically saying that you want a break and you need to try to heal 
that you don't want to talk to them right now and they know you are meaning business their feelings they feel like they've made a bad choice and now they have none oh poor them nothing ever works their way this person is acting like everything is all on you not them their action they could be trying to play pouty face at you but this has been somebody that's been dishonest with their emotions they weren't telling you the truth about how they felt and now they might be trying to put a guilt trip on you also somebody that's got a bit of a grudge feeling like they got the fucking short end of the stick blockage Ace of Pentacles. They need to ante up a little bit and be able to give more because this looks like there's been a fight about where things were going. This would be the need to put out more work. It's like, were you even offering anything that was worth it? I feel you need to improve your efforts, person. And they're kind of like, I don't know what to do. And I'm sticking up for, I actually put work into it. And it's looking like it was pretty measly. Likely outcome. Still going to try and work it out? One more. After a break. So it does seem like first you want to think about it. You are guarded. You're not sure if you're going to give this the time of day anymore. This person wants you to try to work things out. So they're giving you some time to yourself because they know that they're going to get bitched at. But if this person tries to lay a guilt trip on you, it's, it's going to be complete lies and crap. Like they're going to be pulling on your heartstrings. Like they're going to be... You're rejecting me, and I feel this way, and when, 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 and it's going to be irrational shit. It's going to be lies and crap because they're feeling sorry about where they put themselves, especially with that Wheel of Fortune there. Reversed. Used to the same old toxic patterns, and they just can't, and you're going, I'm not doing this shit anymore. I might not be... I might not be into this anymore. It's like I, I'm sick of the stubborn crap and the grasping at straws and never knowing what to expect from you and the jealousy crap, not having it. But they're kind of like, I'll wait. I'll wait. I know you're still pissed. So I'm giving it some time. So I feel like they're going to be quiet because they know you're kind of going too much tension. Don't even want to see you. Please do not bother. Don't get your finger out of there. Stop touching me. Go away. Stop touching me. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. <coughs> this person feels like you are being elusive towards them. Their feelings, there's feeling that there's something that they're missing. They're feeling that you don't want to live up to their standards anymore or that you're pessimistic about them, period. But this can be that this person feels like well, they're frustrated they're fatigued but can they have been stringing you along on the trying to commit side they're planning on putting more work into it but if they have to act like this is so much work i'm choosing to wait this out to put more work into it to take on more responsibility but it could be it could be more than it's you know too much to take on what the hell's the point why do i have to stress so much is the stress worth it but they feel like you're keeping to yourself and that you do not want to talk to them. It's like th that, that again, it feels like I, I don't want to talk to you. I'm struggling about what to even say to you. I, I don't believe you and they damn well know it. I might also feel like you're picky. All right. The blockage is they're a commitment phobe and they act big, but it's like, I know I'm going to do this, but then they don't follow through. I'm wavering. I'm not sure if I really want to commit. Maybe we have different ideas on what commitment actually is because there should be faith here. But with the the hair font reverse, it would be a lack of faith and not being on the same page and somebody feeling also can be that somebody was taken or um, married, taken, married, and now they're misleading you and wants their freedom because they were already in another connection can definitely be because at the bottom of the deck, you're going snake take your dishonesty shit and go i'm the one that got away as far as you are concerned this is something that did not make you happy and you might have found out kind of like uh yeah it's looking like you're just going enough i i'm i'm mourning myself for giving you the opportunity and they're oh no i'm gonna work harder at this i'm gonna work harder at this they have to make up their mind which looks to me like they have to leave another partner it's likely outcome Nah. 
it's selfish and it's just like, oh, we're going to have makeup sex. And then it'd be like, boom, nope, I'm deviating. I'm going a different way. This isn't what I really want. It's one sided. And there's still this feeling of like, you possibly owe me an apology, but you're never going to get it. Cause this was one sided and broken heart and unsatisfying, but they, you, the, the, Sex is up in the, no. Sex is always a choice for this person. But as far as guaranteeing, no, struggling. This is somebody that is, I can't decide between my husband and, and my boyfriend or my girlfriend and my wife, that kind of shit. And I would say, what do they see you as then? A lie that they're keeping that's actually a hole on the side. That is not the way to look at somebody. Mm -mm. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Jeez. We are never, ever, ever getting back. Okay, so they see you as kind of saying, never. I feel rejected. This person still wants your forgiveness. And they want to open up airtime to talk to you. Hmm. So they're like, I'm going to come in really quickly and try to talk to you. Things will go better between the two of us. No, don't walk away from me. They do. They see you walking away. They see you saying, fuck this, getting back together shit. But they feel, well, I love you. You'll, you'll, you'll let go of everything. No. You're the one that got away. Isn't that tough shit? What's the blockage? That is never a good blockage. My, my whole, oh my God. Seriously? Screwing around. Oh, I'm distracted by somebody else's vagina. Or I'm distracted by somebody else's penis. Seriously. Oh, look at the bottom of the deck. Take your shit and go. I don't want your attention. You do lead people on. You do get your nose out of joint. If you're, they, there they are. It's like, I'm better off by myself than trying to stroke your ego. You can never get enough. So it's leaving you single as far as you're concerned. But they're going, I'm coming back and we're going to talk about this. and we're, Everything's going to be fine. No, no. They know that you are kind of exiting the building and they don't want it. Mm -mm. I'm going to open up communication and we're going to work through this. We're going to be able to leave all the... No. 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 I mean, I'm not saying I hope they get herpes, but this certainly is no way about... I'm worried. They know you don't want them back. And yet they're... Oh, you're the one that got away and I miss you so much. Well, then you should not have lied and snuck around behind their back. My... All right, single source, singles. Who? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Intentions. Ooh. All right, I'd like to pursue you with pride and passion. This person wants to shake up your world. They are a little bit restless, very eager and curious. Let's see what you think of them. Okay, a little bit of a quick talker. And you feel like the communication's good, but they they could be a little bit, uh, I hate, I don't want to say that they're kind of emotionally, you can't quite tell what, what they're thinking. On the bottom of the deck, you have the magician. So that's willpower. That's movement. That's this person putting the moves on you and insisting on being in control. I can definitely see that with the King of Swords here. If you see them that way, it's kind of like everything has to be just so, and they want the truth. And I mean, they're definitely on the nervous side about making sure things are just so, but they're very sexually interested in you. And this could be like really shaking up their world. I don't feel like this is a downfall. I don't. And this can be you going, holy crap, slow you. Yeah, okay, great. Communic okay, yeah, we get, okay, that's great. I'm motivated too, but slow your roll a little bit. All right, let's get two cards on timing. So this week, seriously, that's a bit fast. And then you have this month. All right, now let's go through the majors for you guys. So heavy Scorpio, Cancer Scorpio, Pisces for singles. Gemini. Scorpio. All right. Get over here. Okay. Hose are us. What the hell, guys? Pisces. Cancer. Taurus. You waited out there, asshole. Libra. Virgo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Aries, 
Aquarius. But all signs are in there. All right, Scorpios, that's what we have. Hopefully it doesn't resonate with too many people. On we go. Sagittarius, if you're dealing with another Sagittarius, Aries or Leo. Okay, we got the King of Cups reversed, the Moon, and the Ace of Swords. Hmm, why the King of Cups reversed? This person knows that you are disappointed in them. Now, it does look like they would would want to try. They're thinking about this. How much do I value Sagittarius? I got to think about this. Do I follow their rules? I know they're disappointed. I know they want a commitment. One more for feelings. Five of Swords reversed. So this is somebody that is thinking about an apology and trying to make things work with you. The Five of Swords reverse is like, okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta learn to bite my tongue, watch my mouth. I need to learn how to keep my mouth shut. I want to make amends. This is a, I'm sorry for my ill actions towards you. And they, they haven't said anything yet. So they're feeling kind of like in the dark on if you would forgive them, if they would have another chance. But can this be somebody that's kind of erratic? with their feelings or that they hide their feelings or that they avoid difficult feelings but that can be lies and deception and avoiding reality because they don't like what happened so it's a black edge all right give up too easily kind of a candy ass and then the wheel of fortune this just seems like it was a timing issue maybe there it was bad timing but there's still an interest you can't just come in and out though Things were going great, and then all of a sudden, I turned into a candy ass that didn't put any work into it. It's kind of like that. I feel the need to detach from you until the issues are gone. I don't need all of this shit right now in my, in my life. It's too much. Wow. So they feel like things were one-sided? Ooh. Your energy. You suck. You suck. I'm not interested. I am done. I've had enough of your candy ass crap. You went the wrong way. You led me on. You were playing around with somebody else. I'm done. See my arms are crossed. I'm indignantly saying enough. I'm wrapping up this chapter. I'm done. Doesn't matter if they're coming. I'm going to tell you that I really too late. Way too late. I know you want a commitment. I know that. No, you're going to do that all of a sudden. They're just all of a sudden going to shit you happiness. Really? Gemini Libra Aquarius. Knight of Swords Reverse. Yes, I broke my glasses, guys. So if I look like I am stopping to see what the hell the card is, it's true. King of Swords Reverse. Did I say Knight? It's King. Why the King reversed? Ooh. This person feels like you are impossible to deal with. They're like, whoa, Sagittarius is really pissed. They aren't even messing around here. They don't want to talk to me. Anything would lead to conflict right now. So, oh, don't bother. Don't bother Saggy. How they feel. You got the lovers with the page of swords. So they're watching you. Hope you damn do. They still have feelings for you. Yes, they do. Why the seven of cups? I think there's confusion on what to do. This is somebody that does want to start over, and they're gonna. There's gonna be a meeting of the minds, but this person feels like you're gonna play dirty. Just saying, because it's like I want to talk. She's almost smiling here in this card. The Queen of Swords doesn't smile. She is very direct, sometimes cold, can be a wicked naggy bitch, and very demanding. So they're demanding another opportunity with you. Well, I think somebody needs to kind of up their game and improve their efforts. What's the what's the blockage? All right. Okay, so you have somebody that decided to walk away at one point in time. Uh-huh. Now they want to open that. They could have been talking online to other people and therefore ghosting you. Something didn't work out with somebody else. And now they're going, um, hi. No, you are high if you think that I'm just taking you back. Because obviously at some point in time with the Five of Pentacles being upright, there was a point in time where this person ghosted you. Walked a walked a walked, walked. <laughs> Oh my God, I almost made myself snort. Where they had ghosted you, ignored you, blocked you, avoided you, whatever the case may be. Well, they were busy doing something else. 
and now they want to kind of, kind of like just worm their way back in onto your couch? How do you feel? How do you feel? Defensive and fucked over. You feel like they're full of shit. So this person hasn't been completely upfront as far as you're concerned. You're like, I'm not dealing with any um, damn jealousy issues. I'll play whack-a-mole and beat the hell out of you with my big stick. My stick's bigger than your stick. And you could be feeling attacked by this person, but you feel like they're habitually full of shit. And it's like, this you're bitter towards it. It's like, I need this separation. I need to think about what I want to do. I don't feel like there's any balance here. You need to, to suffer consequences with my big stick here. And they're still going to try. So that's a likely outcome. You're not given. You are not given in. We are never, ever, ever, ever getting back together. It's too much disappointment, too many lies and bullshit, and they're not offering anything. You're disappointed. This little page here would say that you feel extremely, we'll say depressed, jealous, and it's like I, your apology isn't going to mean nothing to me. This connection was unsatisfying, and you do not want this person to get together with you anymore, and you're not tolerating it. It's like, I don't like being jealous of people, and they feel like, man, Saggy ain't gonna budge. Probably right, and this person could have decided that they were playing footsie-footsie and wasn't sure if they got away with it or if you know. Just saying, because that can be some gossipy bullshit going on behind your back. All right. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Could you do? Okay. Apparently not. All right. You got judgment reversed here. So this person sees you as dynamic and outgoing and getting attention. Very physically attracted. Very in control over your situation. And then we have the Page of Pentacles. They might be seeing you talking to somebody new. No, we're talking a little jealousy. It's like you're trying to get to know somebody. And we got some jealousy going on here. Oh, the foot got switched around here. The shoe's on the other one. What they're doing? Nothing. Nothing. They're sitting there with their finger up their nose going, poor me. They are not sure what to think about you. They're confused about what to do. They're confused about the connection. And they may feel the need to protect themselves right now because they're going to end up getting hurt. They think that you're going to reject them. And I would say that they're they're not seeing that they should even bother you. How do you feel about them? All right. Look at that. Two nines as well. I am tired. I am sick. I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of how I was having to worry and be concerned about where you are, what you're doing. I'm not your fucking babysitter. How old are you after all? Wake up. It's just like my guts and knots. I get anxious thinking about you. I have some, you know, major remorse about giving you the opportunity. And I'm obsessed about what could happen. So you're afraid of giving this person another chance. It's the likely outcome. Nope. You're not digging it. Mm -mm. You feel like this person's it. You're trying to heal. This is the last card that wanted to come out. So the, the bullshit stops here, pretty much. Like the magician reverse. It's like your manipulation, your bullshit, your games, and not, not being a grown-up and not getting your shit together and not putting any work into things. Possibly manipulating and being a user financially as well. Keep it in mind. It doesn't have to be. But it's like, I don't want to feel um, like I can't rely on you. And that's manipulation. That's like master manipulator. It also can be that they're taking no steps to be this king of pentacles upright. Not doing anything to change the situation. And they are jealous. Well, that's too bad. Do I come clean with Sagittarius? I think it's a little, ooh, bottom of the deck, you got death. Yeah, it's a little late. A little late for that. You're kind of like, I'm going through it. I'm going through it once, though. That's, that's it. I'm releasing you. You are released from my chambers. All right. I was done with you anyway. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Seven of Pentacles. Wow. All right, why do we have the Seven of Pentacles for how they see you? This 
person is doubting you're going to give them another chance. Why the Six of Swords for feelings? They feel like you are just going to keep walking away from them. Why the action of the Three of Pentacles? And they feel like as far as trying to work things out, that you're going to basically leave them hanging. Well, that's not so bad. I mean, why should you have to sit there? The blockages, ouch, major ouch. And somebody owes an apology. Possible third party doesn't have to have been, but there's some painful words. Something was exchanged and you're saying the games and the bullshit with us are done. I need to not have to deal with this. I don't want to be hurt this badly ever, ever, ever again. This is like shallow, hurt, broken hearted, something that went down that you don't feel like they can ever be taken back. So you're trying to slowly work away from this person and move on. But it seems like you're getting constantly reminded of, of what had happened between the two of you. And that's suckage. So are they trying to come and uh, kiss your ass? What's it like they all come? You're not even going to think about it. You're not giving it a second thought. With the eight of pentacles reversed, you're saying, you know what? I You were preoccupied and now it's too little too late. So this is the last thing inside my mind is you and your player bullshit not having it. And they're like, well, you're never going to give me an opportunity. They're overthinking it. It's pretty simple as far as I'm concerned. They think that you're keeping them on hold. You might play games with them since they played games with you, but it doesn't seem like they're going to get from you what they actually want. All right. Single source. Who first? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. Intention. Sexually? Oh, very sexually interested. They might be holding back because they want to show you that they actually mean business. They could be at a distance. Put that chariot there and see what you think of them. Okay. You got two nice cards here. So keep your expectations high. This person can remind you of somebody, but it, it does look like, hey, Netflix, chill, you, me, see how this goes. This is somebody that you feel after meeting them. You'd have a very comfortable feeling with them. You would kind of have a really good idea on what to expect from them. So I'd like to take the time slowly to get to know you. I want to feel you out on your values and kind of, you know, make a, the feels like that connection would be stable. So you're very comfortable with it. It's like, I will evaluate this and so far this looks good. And this is like hanging together, not saying yes or no, just kind of feeling it out. This is really nice. We have Sagittarius, Cancer, and Leo. And we want two cards from my timing deck we have next week and in the summer hot summer love hot summer love very nice all right so let's see what else we have in here for majors singles are doing so much better today than anybody in like a half-ass connection all righty lots of pentacles in here pisces cancer Lots of Earth, the Libra. Who's hiding? Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Pisces, Cancer, Taurus. All right, that's what we have for you, Massages, and on we go. Capulets. All right. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, and this is the Wake Me Up deck. It's on Etsy. All right. Hangman reversed. The Emperor. And the Ten of Cups. Okay. This person feels like you're kind of putting them off, like pushing them away and kind of resentful towards them so that you're kind of delaying. Why? Page of Wands. Oh, seems they would actually admit the fact that they were immature. So they see you kind of keeping them in a holding pattern. This person, as far as they feel, they feel like they're the fucking boss. Is that right? So watching you from a distance, this person does want to try to work things out. But why do they feel like they have to watch you? What the hell is that? As far as action, 
they're not saying squat. They miss you, but this is somebody that could have walked away from you. The Five of Pentacles is guilt and frustration and I shouldn't have done and things between the two of you being very it's like emotional poverty there was like no love loss there at all and this seems like somebody that had abandoned this long-term connection so why because they're a pussy they're a candy ass pussy the chariot reversed to somebody that goes absolutely a different way because they're a coward or that they i've lost focus i went the wrong direction i got reckless with your emotions not a good type of person and they know that they have screwed up and the blockages all right you don't feel the same way about them anymore since that done stab the teddy bear in the heart and you feel like this person just you're not working out you just don't feel like things are working out between the two of you now with the ten of swords this can't look at that poor teddy bear come on that shit man so you might feel that this person betrayed you and there's no chance that you would ever forgive them the temperance reverse is just like i'm so frustrated you use bad judgment. This just does not work for me. Possibly feeling neglected, but with the Ace of Cups reversed, it's like, done. I don't feel the same way. I don't want to renew. This is a missed opportunity. I. It's no. It's just no. Things were toxic between the two of you. And I would say that they're, they're staying their own damn... Yeah, ooh. You're basically, you're like you come at me you just even dare come at me because you would feel like they're argumentative and they possibly put you in the position of having other lovers behind your back and you're like you know what you don't know where you stand i know where the hell i stand you want to fight about this i'll play games with your ass and you ain't gonna like it but this is somebody that blocked you that abandoned you no no they get a big fat no and they know that this is how you feel about them you feel and they know it that you were never getting anything from them so why not leave them hanging and that they were immature and you never knew what the hell to expect from them and like could have even flirt with your damn friends they're an instigator they like drama impulsive no no bye bye all right gemini libra aquarius i came flying out what do we got four of, of wands all right and a pentacle send and the queen of coins this person wow okay so they see you as home their feelings is they would be very comfortable with you or they are comfortable with you and the queen of pentacles is the action so the page of cups would be i'm hoping to hear good news from you is there a blockage is there a blockage flippers only going through it once Mm -mm. this looks pretty oh that's a maybe okay so if there is a blockage it's the fact that this person they might want to have their space they could be kind of stubborn which makes you feel like unsupported um you could play the game of well if you're not going to do this then i'm going to hold something else back that you definitely want and then the connection gets kind of conflicted it's the uh, i i want my space and then not talking the communication sharing emotions and then feeling lonely because it that's not good one more all right and this can be somebody that makes up excuses i have a headache ah i don't wanna i gotta stick up my ass today i had a bad day at work everything kind of centers around them so if there is a blockage it doesn't have to be another person but it's definitely somebody that likes to um possibly go out do their thing and then they expect you to be home or they don't tell you everything that they've been up to they kind of leave you behind i'm doing this you're doing that i'm doing this kind of self-righteous how do you feel about this person okay you're like when you're done partying let me know until then we're on the we're on the done now is not the time to talk to me because I feel like there's too many things in the way and I'm, I'm losing interest. You, you treat me like I'm a buzzkill and that I'm no fucking fun. 
I'm sorry, but I don't feel as strongly. This thing's like lost its mojo. If this was purely sex, you can take it and shove it right where the sun don't shine. This is blocking them. You want to go out and party? Go party. Have fun. But if you are single, this would be like, hi, I have a crush on you. You you really seem like somebody that would be responsible. And they're, I mean, they're looking long term. Like, I'd be comfortable with you. You're looking for, they also could uh, see that you have just bought a home, something about home, uh, welcoming to the home. And this would be the, the freedom to say, hey, I feel like this could really go somewhere and wanting to reach out. But if it's somebody from the past, ooh, a little bitterness lies beneath. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, that came out quick, the Hierophant. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Source, all right. Ew. You guys, you got to come like this one. The Tower is a demolished wedding cake. See the two, the bride and the groom falling down off of this? It's like struck by lightning. So this person actually with their feelings, they might want to shake things up a little bit. This is somebody that sees you as wanting the connection to be more faithful or marriage, whatever the case may be. And this can be something that shocks this person because they feel shocked and their energy is kind of going wet, cold, wet, cold, wet feet. I don't know. Now they're kind of like, shit, I got to really think about this. They're so worth it, but am I ready for this? And with the Wheel of Fortune reversed, it's, it's almost like they're feeling like there's been an unexpected setback, like something unfortunate happened. Now they got to face the music. What's the blockage? Besides cold, wet feet. The blockage is they're still healing. So, I mean, it's not that they're not interested. They are. They just got to let go of the damn past. They could have had somebody that cheated on them. But with this Knight of Wands, they're very, I mean, they want to pursue you. They want to pursue you with pride. They definitely see you as somebody that wants the the ring or the value to be upped. You want to up the stakes. And they're kind of going, I'm not ready for this. So it's more of a timing thing than, than terrible. It's really not terrible. All right. But you're definitely speaking your truth. And it's like, you know, yeah, I got feelings for you, but um, this is what will make me happy. You got the Nine of Cups. It does seem like you might end up hearing what you want to hear from this person, but you need to kind of go a little slower at them. All right. Page of Pentacles. It's like, okay, um, let's start with you do this and you find some kind of common ground compromise. And I mean, this is somebody that wants things, but you're scaring the shit out of them. Okay. I just, <laughs> I feel like you go, okay, um, commitment. And they go, oh, I freak out. It's like a relaxed person. Holy crap. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. We have the two of cups. We have the Eight of Swords. Okay, so this person has feelings for you. They feel like they're stuck in a box down by the river. Okay, this is somebody that wants to be able to get through things with you, though. So why in the hell do they feel like they're stuck? Why the Eight of Swords? You're going to shun me. Okay, it just feels like they have doubt. Like they're overthinking shit. Why the Six of Wands for action? All right, they're just guarded. Another kind of a candy ass, but not completely. I mean, you got feelings for this person, but you want somebody that's going to be a little bit, a lot of bit, a lot of bit, more mature. And it's like, you know, oh, it's raining. It's raining. Can you hear that? Oh, it's coming down pretty hard, too. This would be, I want somebody that I have feelings for, but I, I may hesitate to show up for you if you don't come at me right. So you're kind of going risk versus reward, good versus bad, kind of weighing the options emotionally. It's like, I don't have to invest in this if I don't want to. All right, what's the blockage? Four of Pentacles, they need to open up. And the Two of Wands, they need to make up their damn mind. This can be somebody that's just like, oh, yeah, no, yeah, uh, no. It's like they value their freedom a little bit too much. Let's see how you feel. A little bit too much um, hesitation and then possibly impatience on your end. 
you feel like they keep you in the dark about things and you're wishful, you're hoping, but at the same time, you want them to make up their damn mind. You got the seven of cups reversed down here. It's almost like, I know you're going to do, you know, make this choice. Finally, you need, you know, you're seeing them for who they truly are. But it's like, I still have hope and faith, but you got to open up. You gotta quit playing shy with your emotions and they're going, but I'm scared. Yeah, stop it. All right, Let's see what we have for singles. Who, Soros? Who for singles? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Intentions. Oh, Eight of Pentacles. Justice. All right, I, they definitely have tunnel vision when it comes to you. They very much lust you but they can't wait to get their paws on you basically so this is somebody that wants an opportunity they want to come at you right this is somebody that sees only you and what the devil card can be just another capricorn or how they're looking directly at you how do you see this person all right you've got judgment i'd like to see that there's an opportunity here but you do see the opportunity here which is nice we like that what else what else what else what else all right, you want a hippity hop just as much as they do. Come on now. Come on. I mean, this, I mean, three for three. We're leaving it. I'm not going to bother with it. It's just like, it's a new exciting beginning, and this will make me happy, and I wasn't expecting this. So it's like, I want to give this the opportunity to see where it can go. This is bringing it up. So it might be you that brings it up, but they're very, very Hey, I feel like this could go somewhere. I am so focused on you and you alone. And ooh, do you look good in those jeans, baby. Nice. All right, so Cancer Scorpio, Pisces. Capricorn, Libra. Leo, singles. All right. And before I do the majors, we're going to pull out two timing cards for singles. Next month into the next new moon. Next month. So, not April. I mean, we just hit April Fool's Day, but but it's not April Fool's Day now. Is it? No. So, we ain't messing with you. All right. So, we have Aquarian Energy, Pisces Cancer. Taurus. Mm -hmm. Libra and Taurus, heavily. Scorpio. Virgo, look at that, it's so cute. Oh, I got a crush on you. Simply because you're lovely. All right, Pisces Cancer, Sagittarius, and this. You left a stain on every one of my good days. Yeah, no, I'm good, no good there. Cancer, and Aries, indignantly Aries. All righty, my Capulets, that's what we have for you. And on we go. Aquarius, if you're dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. King of Swords. Knight of Swords. Six of Coins Reverse. What does this person think you should cut them some slack? Yeah, this is somebody that's like, um, you know, I'll give up on this if you quit, don't quit being an asshole. This person sees you at, oh boy. This person sees you as demonic and stern and emotionally cold and shitty. This person's in a pissy mood about this connection. Not so not so good. And they feel like that they just feel like this is not working out. They're like, cut me some slack already, or I'm just gonna drop this. What's the blockage? Are you overthinking it or are they? Because somebody doesn't feel the same way anymore. Is this Aquarius reversed? Yes. No, it's them. They're like, fuck this. I'm not going to take you being like this. I can't stand it. I'm sick of the toxic words between the two of us. And the blockages. The lovers. Just to clarify, this is not somebody that's ready to settle down. They want you to cut them some slack. Who are they also giving to? Horse shit. This is somebody that's like, I give up. I'm not holding on to nothing. I just drop it. The lover's reverse is making a choice that is not so good. Arguments between the two of you. Break in the communication. Somebody that could be distorted thinking about what this actually is. But it's like a breakup and uh, no trust and possible betrayal and dishonesty and possibly screwing around with somebody else. 
arts and crafts time. Snip, snip. Cut them out. How do you feel? How do you feel? Ten of Wands. You're having a tough time, but you got the Four of Cups reversed. It's like, I need to really go a different direction. You uh, really did not turn out to be what I was expecting, and you want way too much from me. You make mountains out of molehills, and... This is too much work. Too much fucking, too much work. I, I just need to move a different direction. I give up on this and I go look somewhere else because this is not what I have been looking for. It's like I have regret, yeah, mm -hmm, for giving you an opportunity. So realizing they neglected you and possibly just saying enough of this shit and you've had it. And this person is like, you're a, you're a fucking demonic bitch. I'm just, what the hell is that? Okay, well, I'll take my demonic bitchiness elsewhere you don't want to be around me then back off because i'm hot all right gemini libra aquarius gemini libra aquarius five of swords reversed so this person feels like you are biting your tongue when it comes to them like you aren't completely telling them what you think so it's like that silence where they wonder, what are you really thinking? Yeah, that's how they see you. And then, why the chariot? Nine of Wands. Okay, they see you kind of kind of in between wanting to say something and not. They want you to not be so guarded. They want you to open up. They want you to spit out words from your thoughts. This is somebody that's kind of like, I, I have no idea what the hell you're thinking. Because you won't say anything. So they feel like you're kind of distant and they, they're like, is it even possible to make amends with you if, if I can't even figure out what I've done? It's almost like they're goddamn clueless. They might see you trying to get over them. So their feelings, they want to fight about them. They want to, they want to just, let's fucking argue. They're going to play games. I'm talking to you and they're like, you're going to listen to me. Oh, are we really because they still hope that you'd be willing to take things slow so what is the blockage that ain't good they don't want to settle down and now they're sorry it's almost like they mm, bottom of the deck you're hurt you're like enough of this shit i hello shallow you resent this person. It's like empty words and you feel like, you know what? You're not you're not telling me the truth. There's something more to it. No wonder you're guarded trying to get over them and biting your tongue. It's like I don't want to get into any more arguments with you about the fact that you're lying. You don't want to talk about it anymore. But this is somebody that's like you don't care if they have regrets. You feel like they've been unreliable impatient vain possibly screwing around it's a you know commitment phobe type person pushy possibly narcissistic maybe and they're just like we're gonna talk this out and they want if they're hoping that you are okay with moving slow they don't want to commit they're taking their sweet ass time but they're hopeful do you still have faith in me no really not so much i hurt i hurt and the world i'm done with this i i need to closure so like they all come no you're just gonna say i'm i'm sorry but you just do not you don't understand me you're not even trying to understand me you don't see the potential here so i'm not certain and you're lazy no keep it you want casual shit and i'm not digging it all right cancer scorpio pisces high priestess all right and then we have the Queen of Wands reversed and the, okay. Who's the hoe? Why the Queen of Wands reversed? Ten of Pentacles. Oh, you know, I'm supposed to be in this long-term connection, but guess what? I, I neglected to tell you. So this person sees you as the hot toddy on the side. They're like keeping you in the dark. This person's trying to act mysterious. They see you as somebody that that is going to end up alone because the high priestess is somebody that is very seductive and also very single. So they're keeping you a secret because why? They still have feelings for somebody. Else. They're going to walk away from your ass. What is their problem? Oof. 
Okay, so this is somebody that's trying to dodge a bullet by not getting their ass uh, in trouble because of a third party. I mean, this is basically like, I really never meant to stick around. I, you can't count on me. I don't feel the connection is workable. I'm not on the same page as you. Oh, did I mention that I was with somebody else and you were just a toy? I didn't want my significant other to find out about you. Oh, oh. Clarify the high priestess. Yeah, this is going to be wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Goodbye. How do you see them? Who? You fucker. Yeah, okay. You're like, okay, you know what? You were supposed to be in a connection, but you are fucking naughty. You are not doing what the hell you're supposed to be doing, and then you have the, the you've got the audacity to ignore me. Excuse me? You didn't think about that when your Twinkie was in my ding-dong? Seriously. Does this other person know about you? Nope. Because they've made up enough stories that, no, they're full of shit. Oh, it's a likely outcome here. Six of Wands. Nope. Mm -mm. It's almost like they want to try to come back just for a nookie on the side. And you're kind of going, I, you are no way going to get... No, you just want to neglect me. You want your cake and eat it too. I was using very bad judgment when I gave you an opportunity. You're not stable emotionally. And I'm not fighting with you about it. Oh, we'll get over this. I'm going to leave that person. You and I are going to get beyond... No, I don't fucking buy anything that comes out of your mouth after you ghost me, you bossy son of a bitch. Side piece? No more. No. And it can't be because that person eventually does find out. Because it's looking like... I am I asked, what energy are they getting at home? Four of Swords. They're getting the cold treatment. Silent words. Not spoken. Silent treatment. Too bad. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Three of Swords. Oh, did you hurt this person? Ten of Swords. They're not over you. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to show you the respect that you deserve. Even if you are a bitch. Did this person call you a bitch? Really? Why the Three of Swords for how they see you? They're going to come in and they're going to make everything all better. I hope they have more than three band-aids. What's the blockage here? Come here, card. That ain't good. That ain't good. That ain't good. So the three that came out is, I don't really know what I want. I was just toying with you. By the way, I suck in the sack and I never know what makes me happy. I don't know. There's too many things to think about. There's too many value. There's too many variations of what could make me happy. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I have to really think about this. So everything's all up in the air and I'm not going to make you happy. I, it's not my job to make you. Actually, it isn't their job to make you happy. However, they want their cake and eat it too. And if this is somebody that thought this was casual, that this was temporary, they were overindulging, and it can be because they feel rejected by people, and this is like the wrong way to go about it. I'm going to do Rescue Ranger. Who the hell do they think they are? You, I know you're pissed off, but you're still the one that I care about, and I want to nurture our connection. It's because they aren't over you. How do you see them? No. No. Please go the fuck away. You're like, you got to up the ante a lot of bit. You need to make some major improvements in your life. One more. No, you're not tolerating any more shit. You're like, see my stick? I'll whop your ass with this. You're defensive. You're kind of like, I don't trust you. I'm, I'm taking the higher ground with this one. I, I know better. I'm not taking any more crap from you. This is like, okay, fine. I've lost. Fine. Okay. Um, jealousy issues. That's not me. And I feel, if I feel threatened in a connection, what? I don't want to be challenged constantly. I don't want to have to work harder to get your attention. No, I'll stand up to you and I'll let you fucking have it. It's like I'm defensive now and I'm protecting myself. Oof. You guys really got slammed. But they're going to make it all up to you by saying sorry. I'm sorry that I hurt you. You're like, I don't care. I don't care. Single source. Ouch. Singles who? 
Pisces Cancer intention. Ooh, justice. Let's talk. This can be somebody that had a timeout, generally speaking, and now they're ready to rumble. But you got three majors here. This is actually kind of nice. Give me the opportunity to earn your trust. This can be a homebody or somebody that there's a difference in age, whether it's you're being older or not. And they want to be like, let's let's take a chance and have some fun. It's a wait and see game, but I'm honest. So how do you see this person? What do you think of them? King of Wands. Oh, I met you in just the nick of time. So it does seem like you're weighing out the pros and cons because you might be thinking that this person could be like a large child, but you do feel like this is finally something going in my way. So not expecting to meet this person, but it does look like having the courage to kind of roll with the changes. It, it does seem like you're kind of weighing the pros and cons though. It's like, okay, on one hand I've got this and the other hand, it's almost like you're questioning yourself. Here's the good, here's the bad, here's the good, here's the bad. Like you're talking it over with a friend. Well, they're really sexy, but other people pay attention to them too. And they're, you know, they really, you know, like they own a room the minute they walk into it because they're so vivacious. And that might get you a little bit panicky, but this person's going, no, really? I'm a homebody. I like to stay home. I mean, if we got to go out, we got to go out. I'll make the best out of it. But it does seem like you're very drawn to this person. Very. All right, so we have Aries, Virgo, Libra, Pisces, Cancer. All right, let's call out the rest of these. Oh, and we're going to get two timing cards for singles. Let's see what we have here. Within a year and in the winter. All right, so it might be nine months or hell, we're just getting out of winter. Yeah, nine months. But within a year. Shouldn't have to wait that long. But it does seem like it's going to be a timely matter. So it might be like you have to do closure with something else and be ready for it. But with the moon energy here, even though we were using that for uh, who, that can be that you, like, you'll like you be blindsided because you aren't going to expect it. All right. Eh? Majors, majors, majors. Libra, Taurus. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Pisces, Cancer. Sagittarius, Aries, Scorpio, my name is No, my sign is No, Cancer, Aquarius, get your own card there, Pisces, Cancer, Gemini, So, what do we got? Capricorn. Damn Capricorns. Are you guys into bad boys or bad girls? Huh? Are you? A little bit of that just coming out in the Aries Leo Sag. All right, my aquas. That's what we have for you. And on we go. Pisces, how you bees? All right. You are dealing with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. Okay. This person thinks that you are getting attention. Wanting your attention, getting attention possibly from other people, but they see you as very vivacious, full of life, very determined. This person wants an opportunity with you. They're very set on an opportunity with you. And their action, asking you out on a date. We like that. How you see them. I would like to get to know you better. All right. Um, and... You want to take it slow. I mean, it's kind of like, this is a change. You know, I, I can roll with this, but it's good luck having met them. So you're you're willing to give this, yeah, a chance. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Now, this is the X. They, they have to make some changes. You'll hear them out, but it's like, it would be that you expect good news from this person and you're willing to give it another opportunity. It's like possibly, yes, this would be, can we try to talk things out? I still have interest in you. I'll be more focused. I'll be more dedicated. Either way, it looks nice. Ooh, but at the bottom of the deck, you got three of wands. You might wait, wait for it. Wanting progress, but making them wait. One moment. All right, now, dad, go to your room. Go to your room. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. This person feels like they're missing an opportunity with you. They want to be happy. This is something that's like, 
I want to try to make things work. However, it seems like there's an apology in the works here. This person might see you as nurturing, and there's an age difference potentially. Why the ace of coins reversed? Okay, they feel like you are not going to give them, they feel like you're not going to give them an opportunity. They feel like they want to improve the situation and you're basically saying, not happening. They're like, but I'm going to make you happy and I'll treat you better. It's almost, they might be assuming, assuming that you would forgive them. So the blockage. You're done trying to, it's like, I'm not giving in to you anymore. So here, I shun you, asshole. I don't have feelings for you anymore. I don't trust you. Could have been a third party. And you're done. You're like, I'm, I've am struggled enough. I'm overwhelmed. I give up. I quit. I'm done. I shun you. I don't want to see you. Well then. And your actual feelings? Defensive. Don't challenge me anymore. I'm hurt. Please go the fuck away. Enough. Enough heartbreak. They're like, but I'm going to reach out. I know you're still curious if I would. I'm really not so curious anymore. But I'm going to be more honest. At, no. N no. No. But they're almost doting on the idea that you're going to be forgiving. I know that Pisces will calm down. And then, no. No. Pisces will not calm down. My cupcakes are pissed. Really pissed. And you can go fuck yourself. See? And you can go fuck yourself. And you suck in the sack. You're selfish. Ooh, you let him have it. Give it to him. Good. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. God, these cards are just flying for you guys. All right. This person basically feels like you've said, these boots are made for walking. And that's just what they'll do. This person's irritated. Ooh, isn't that a pity? But they're very prideful. I still have feelings for you. We can still start this over. They don't see their role in the issue. And they're kind of like, you're separating us. Really? Is that really what you want to do? They're taking it really hard. And this is somebody that, ooh, ooh. Ooh. They might feel like you have basically neglected them or said they weren't good enough. There is this feeling of loneliness and rejection. And they do feel like you are slowly separating from them. What is the blockage? All right. Came out sideways. We're taking it that way. The blockage is something you saw and can't unsee. One more. And had to do with this person not being... They're, they're a greedy mofo. This is somebody that needs to get their shit together. It's like you're corrupt, which means uh, possibly using for finances. This is like, I'm giving it up. I, I see you truly, clearly, and I see you for your insecurities and what they need somebody to constantly rub their lamp and turn their crank and make them put up on a pedestal because they don't feel adequate. Too bad. How do you feel? Very oof, pissed off and guarded. And I can think of with my head, not my heart or my groin anymore. And this chapter is closed. Why are you watching them then? Because you still have feelings for them? Part of you, mm, you might know, I'm going to say this just because it's out there. You might know somebody that you're getting information from that you're kind of collaborating and going, see, I knew it. Almost like you needed to have that mental backup in your head that this person was actually doing this or that this also can be that you still care about this person and you want to want to try to work things out but you're going to make them wait pentacles take time but you are basically kind of going i'm watching you jack i'm watching you and this is like no you are going to be truthful with me. I don't care if you have to go through the Spanish Inquisition every fucking day. You've been deceptive and I'm not trusting this right now. Mmm. And this death reversed. Are we done? Are we not? Are we done? Are we not? Are we on? Are we off? This could be a connection that's been on and off and you're done. And then, no, you're not. And then, no, I'm never going to trust them. Yeah, you are. So this does seem like this person's kind of struggling with pride issues but still cares about you. And they feel like you're ignoring them and choosing not to talk to them. And that you are just emotionally history. 
that you are separating yourself, walking away, and therefore they're disappointed. Well, 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 well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person sees you as argumentative and an asshole that's walked away. This person's bored or restless. And they they want to be left alone. Oh, leave them alone then. Oh, but they're restless. And they they feel like they're just kind of giving up. Did you chew their ass out? What's the blockage? Let's see what we got here. It's almost like you never knew what the hell to expect from this person and they couldn't discipline themselves. Like you never knew what they were going to do. I got bored with this connection because you give up too easily. You get possessive and I don't deal well with being possessed by somebody. I don't know what to expect from you. Any of those. I mean, this can be this person got a little bit too smothery and you lost emotions to them because it does look like you kind of said enough of this shit. All right. I was to clarify blockage. You know, this can be somebody because we take the blockage and we flip it. There can be an age difference, therefore a maturity difference. And this can be somebody that's selfish, self-centered, looking for somebody to mother them. You know, there can be issues with a baby mama or baby daddy or this person blames their parent, acts codependent. Maybe they live in the fucking basement. But this is somebody that's not always... It's almost like they have to be controlled. They're that they're that kind of codependent. And they're immature. And they're not an adult like the person. Ooh. Ugh, I hate it when they hit the floor. Damn it. Alright. So your energy towards this person. Minus the one that hit the floor. Where'd you go, buddy? Come back. Come back. My cupcakes need you. Don't. Make me reach so hard. Okay. Yeah, you're really not happy. Temperance reversed. Listen up, person. Whatever you're overindulging in and your alcoholism and your temper, I you know, I don't want to see it. I'm, I'm not giving you any second chances anymore. Don't ask for another opportunity. I'm done. Uh-uh. Greedy, you need to take care of yourself when they let themselves go. You almost might want to say, you need help. <laughs> you need help to get over the things that you do to excess, which can be overindulging in anything. But you're kind of going wrong way, bonehead. You are going the wrong way. You are way too careless. And until you get your shit together, the answer is not happening. So go ahead and be alone in, in your pity party. I've had it this time. So it seems like there's been more than one. Yeah, you're going, uh-uh. Your little apology doesn't mean shit. Not anymore. You're irresponsible. Single source. Who first? All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Intentions with my cupcakes. Well, that's an iffy one. Oh, they want love. They just want to go slow. It seems like somebody that wants to be respected, but they're really slow. There's something they got to let go of first. How do you see them? All right, you're kind of iffy on them. You feel like they're opening up communication. You do see that you would be happy with this person. I mean, those are all very nice cards, but you still start with... It's moving a little bit fast as far as sexuality. Sex, I don't know why people are always like, hey, sex is always, I'm always open for that. But you kind of go, mm, I, you know, I need a little bit more than that. So you're kind of overthinking this because this does look like manifesting the ideal type of partner and being happy. Pleasure, yes, pleasurable, but don't be in doubt unless this person gives you a reason to doubt. It just seems like there's something they have to let go and accept a, a past that they... Let's, let's clarify. Why the hang back? Okay. Yeah, they, they need to let go of... Like, you're going to hear this person had been a player at one point in time, but now they want it to be taken seriously because this is somebody that wants to be emotionally mature when it comes to you. But it, it might be that you're kind of getting this backlash, backsplash of what they had been like before and hearing that they had been somebody that liked to screw around or that they never wanted to settle down and they're going, that's not how I am anymore. Okay, um... 
I've changed, I've let go of those things, but they do want to prove themselves, especially with the emperor here. I'm starting this way and I want you to respect the type of person that I am. I am disciplined now, I will not misbehave. So they gotta prove it to you. I'm okay with that, I mean, it's not terrible. You might just be overthinking just because you've heard that they can get frisky fast and you're kind of going a little bit too quick there, bony owner something like that all right <laughs> i didn't mean that no i didn't say it just recant that all right so we have leo aries pisces cancer and two from my timing deck for you guys all right you got very soon with lightning very soon and then you have may mm. So it shouldn't be too long until there's a change, change in the wind. Slide, slide to the left, snow slide to the right. All right, see so what we got here. Libra, Aries, Cancer. Sagittarius, Libra Taurus, Virgo, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Scorpio, Heavily, Pisces, Cancer, move card, all right, and Leo, all right, so singles, you definitely have some good news coming, we like that, thank you for watching, many blessings, and hope to see you next time.